Good morning. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Kirby. Hope you guys are doing well. Give me just another plain old draw stream here. Hello, Tree Goblin. Good to see you, sir. Let's get set up here. <coughs> Pardon. All right, here we go. What's up, Manicore? Good to see you. All right. <clears throat> Just a little more to do on this page, and then this one goes in the bank. <clears throat> Manicore, did it past your bedtime? I mean, you know, glad to have you. I was just wondering. Oh, Nikki says she's going to get her first haircut in two and a half years. Going to get about 10 inches cut off. Wow. Going to drop the link if uh, anyone cares to, ju to jump in with us. I'd be glad for the company. Matacord, get in here. Kirby, come on in. Of course, anyone else who wants to pop in, if I know you, you are welcome. Done for now. Care of the babies. Mm 
No, not file. Edit. <clears throat> And here we go. <coughs> Thanks, nap time. All right, so step one is we got to, damn it. Adjust the contrast here. I don't know why the scans come out like this, but they do. is called getting pulled into the alley and getting your ass whooped. <coughs> Pardon. So what do you guys got going on today out there in the ether? Well, we know Nikki's going to go get a haircut. It's 11 o'clock where Manicor is in the evening. <clears throat> so I would imagine you're in for the day. I'm doing pretty good. A little, I think I'm a, what do you call it? Like, you know when you don't sleep and things start to like feel like you're going to throw your back out here and there, stuff like that? Sure. I think I'm on like, I'm close to that. I'm like teetering there. So I'm, I'm going to keep on working until I feel like I am there and then I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> the, uh, the vestiges of getting old. I don't know what vestiges mean. What does that mean? The lingering effects. Hmm. All right. I'll take it. 
Welcome, Kirby. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. How, how are you, sir? I am rested today. Good. Day I, was, I was fucked up. <laughs> <sighs> so what time is it in your part of the world? It's uh, 10.22. <clears throat> okay. Trying to start this up. Babies were arguing. Right here looking at me. <laughs> the babies were arguing. <laughs> God damn it. Trying to make them go to bed. They want to sleep in the office right next to me. Right here while I work. That's because they love daddy. Yeah, they're, they're fighting over this the space. I was like, <laughs> it's a big <laughs> fucking futon that, that they have. No reason to fight over it. Don't fight over me, children. There's plenty of daddy to go around. <laughs> so I hear them, uh, them Japanese futons are a sight to behold. What is yours like? Uh, I don't know. This regular. <laughs> I, I, I've never... I've never slept on the ground... With a futon before, I just slept on the ground with a blanket. Oh. <laughs> so this is our. Uh, I don't know. There's no baseline. That's what I'm saying, Dillard. Mm. No compare. No nothing yeah. to compare. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe you'll know better. If you, Fair enough. If you ever see one or come down this way. Yeah, I got an invite from a guy I met here online in Comicsgate named Chester Busby. Uh -huh. uh, he lives in Japan, but he lives in some really small village in the middle of nowhere. Uh -huh. And I was like, well, I don't know. I don't want to go over there and then like be hanging out in a backyard for like four days, you know? <laughs> well, okay. What would you want to do when you, if you ever came over here? Let me put this up. I don't up. know. I'm I'm not a I, I guess I guess I wouldn't know what I'd want to do. <clears throat> you don't you don't know what you don't know, so Right, right. Okay, so I can give you some uh some topics. Um do you want to do the weeb stuff? The Gundams, the animes, the toys, the video no. games. No, like like <laughs> for instance, if you were to say, Oh yeah, I yeah, like a more I don't know too much about Japan, right? So it's like I, I don't know anything about what I want to see. Like if you say, "Hey, you're gonna go to England," I would have like a list of things I would want to see, right? right? But I don't right. know anything about Japan. That, How would what, I know what I want to see? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to establish right here. I guess so, I would want to see things more historical and architecture. Okay, more historical. So they got a bunch of castles. Historical, and... uh, I guess. Like, uh, what do you call it? Maybe. Mythical. Mythical. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, legends, things like that. You bring and, your, Would you want to bring your family or do you want to go by itself? Well, of course I'd bring my family. All right. So let me see. Let me take care of this chat. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> All right. So first thing, like I would want to take you and your wife to um where my uh father-in-law took me and my wife and it's this tr hiking trail in the mountains right it's uh where a sun god escaped ran away to and hid out <clears throat> that this that's what's famous for this trail and as they say it has like eight gates right on this trail and it's, it just says that that I, I don't, I haven't seen any fucking gate or anything like that. But it's it's pretty nice, and uh, I went there with my wife when I first came to Japan, you know, and it, we we walked it together. So I take you there, let you and your wife walk that tra trail, take a bunch of pictures that we can have that memory forever. Then I take you to um, in the mountains they have this uh, Sova house. 
No, right. wait a minute. Wait, Kirby. You, you told us what's not there. What is there? What's that? At the gates. It's just a hiking trail <clears throat> up for the mountains. Okay. It's it's famous. You know, a lot of people go there and and walk from the bottom of it all the way to the top. Okay. I just uh, <clears throat> I went there with my wife, and uh, we've been together all this time. So, if anyone ever came visit me with their family and they're married, I take them. Hopefully some of that, whatever juju would rub off on their, their marriage, you know? Cool. <clears throat> yeah. I got the pictures and I um, take the pictures for them, you know, mm -hmm. and that way they'll have that memory for it. What do you for? When we, uh, when we hear about the cherry blossom festival, where is that taking yeah. place? Everywhere. Everywhere. So when during cherry blossom season, there's going to be festivals. They're called mat matsuris. And then uh, what people like to do is have picnics out underneath the cherry blossoms. So they get the bentos and stuff. Bentos is a lunchbox. We do that if, if it was a uh, season, cherry blossom season. Yeah, we go out there. <clears throat> when does they that happen? Hanami. Look at flowers. When does when does that happen? Uh, let's see. I have to ask my wife. I think spring. So there's a um, in the mountains. There's a soba house that I was talking about. Now there's a, a soba house is so, soba is noodles, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, <clears throat> so they have these restaurants, these so soba houses, right? This one is built into a tree. So oh, wow. it's like a, it, it's really nice and beautiful. So when you go in there, it's just like um, goddamn fantasy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I'll take Dylan and his wife there and his kids. I know his kids probably get a kick out of my, my kids did, you know, and they forgot it. They're, <laughs> they're so, they were so young, <laughs> but <clears throat> they loved it. They're like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Fanta says tree. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, he's talking to tree tree goblin. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> Fanta says one of her dreams is to go to Japan during the cherry blossom festival. <clears throat> that's nice. Yeah. And, and Fanta is someone who chases those dreams. She wanted to go to England, so by God, she went and spent a month over. The... How long were you a there, month? Fanta? Wow. She was over there for a minute. That was good. She hung out with <coughs> Hen and Margot and TJ. TJ? The not, black not guy? That, no, not that TJ. Different TJ. Okay. I was like, damn, he gets around. <laughs> He's fucking, he was in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong TJ. <laughs> All right. So those are two places. Then I'll take uh, Dillard and his kids was family to um the ninja village in the mountains they have a couple of them but it, within that area they have a ninja village so they have oh, all wow. the historical <laughs> ninja stuff but That's it's cool. um mainly for the kids bunch of um amusement stuff throw ninja stars and knives and stuff and then uh they have this house that's a giant maze each room has a secret passageway to the next room <clears throat> and let him and his kids do that they're gonna have a good time there very cool very cool yeah all it's all in the mountains about. that's what my uh, family's from is nagano every bit of that sounds fun brother oh yeah <clears throat> if you don't want to do the the weeb stuff then and you want to do some uh Laid back stuff like this is, or family stuff. This is the stuff I'd take you, take you to the wasabi farm. If you ever see a wasabi farm, they also have a soba house on on the wasabi farm. Now the wasabi farm is uh may sound like ads eh, as a fucking farm. No, <clears throat> it is the most cleanest water, and it's really strange how they grow wasabi. They have these um like cobblestones, right? And with a thin layer of water streaming over it. 
mm-hmm. and then the wasabi grows on those cobblestones. Oh, cool. So, yeah. We check that out and walk around to the hiking area. And they have a sub house in the middle. You can buy wasabi everything. They have a wasabi ice cream there, too. Try that out. I don't think I've ever even thought about wasabi ice cream. Yeah, I thought it would be nasty, but it's actually sweet. <clears throat> like um, that spiciness, when you cook the wasabi, it goes away. Okay. Yeah. It's only there on the uh, raw wasabi. So they mm. grind, grind that up. That's what what everyone knows. <clears throat> okay, right on. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, of course. Sounds like my kind of place, throwing knives and ninja stars. Okay, I'm going to tell you this story about that ninja place. Right. I'll let you tell that say... while I go warm my coffee up, okay. sir. Go ahead. I don't want to say anything because it, it might affect Dillard, and I didn't... No, you know what? I won't, I won't say anything because I don't want it to affect Dillard. I want him to go there with his kids and have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> I went there, and... uh I was having a good time until, until I saw something, and then I just wanted to go home. <laughs> anyway. I don't understand. Now, now I have to know. Oh, man. I don't want I want you to have... Okay. Well, odds <laughs> are, because I, I have a lot of countries I want to visit before I go yeah, to yeah. Japan, so I'll probably... Oh, I understand. Okay, okay. So, again, you know, I first come to Japan, whatever, my... We we do we do a bunch of stuff. We go all over. Me and my wife, and she we she told me about the ninja village. I was like, let's go, fucking ninjas! Holy shit! Let's go to this fucking ninja village, right? I get there, and I was expecting something really fucking cool. The um the museum part of it is okay, you know, it's not what I expected, and then the um amusement part of it was all for kids, you know. And um, the only part is the the booths that had the ninja stars and throwing knives, right? Uh-huh. So we go over there, and there's an old fucking dude. He, he the whole place, the whole village is run by family, you know. So their ancestors were ninjas and shit, whatever. So this old guy's over there, like, yeah, you want to fucking throw the <clears throat> ninja stars and knives? I was like, hell yeah. We fucking paid him, and then he gave me a deck of ninja stars and knives, and I was throwing them. And he was like, oh, you're really good with that. I was like, yeah, I fucking love throwing knives. You know, I used to do that in the States. And he was like, yeah, I'm here, you know, <clears throat> try try hitting that, that little one right over there. So I was having a good time. And then next to me pulls up this big fat dude, like fat Japanese guy. And he was like really um, excited and say, and he threw down a fucking shitload of money. And the guy came with a basket of fucking ninja stars and and nines and gave it to him. And he was like, "Yeah, I'm making all these noises." And then he, when he pick up a ninja star, he pose, get really serious, and he throw it, and that shit would just fly everywhere, you know. And I was just like, "What the fuck's going on?" You know. And then uh, the the old guy had to step away. He was like, oh, shit, you know, it's <laughs> dangerous. Anyways, behind him is this little old Japanese woman. And I, I understood. This guy was handicapped. And then that's his mom behind him. This guy's like 40 years old or something like that with a mind of a child. And he was having a blast, you know, God bless mm-hmm. him. But my wife was like, so so I I was like, is that what I look like, you know? And then my wife was like, ain't she going to throw your ninja stars, in, right? And I was like, no, I'm going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it, it, man, it just sucked the fun out of it, you know? Well, yeah. Am, am I a big fucking retard? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's a hell of a question. It, I sit, it, I sit down on the first thing hard. I hear Kirby is, am I a big fucking retard? <laughs> it fucked with me hard seeing that. I was just like, and I, I don't, 
I don't want to talk bad about him. I just don't want to be him, you know? So I just was like, no, let's Wait, go home. Who? Who? <laughs> who you don't want to be? Wait, oh, why man. would you step away, knowingly step away, and then come back and ask him to repeat the whole story? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't ask him to repeat the whole story, did I? I said, who? Oh, the guy that was throwing the news at stars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he was basically a poser. No. See, now, now he needs the whole story, you see? You God see? damn it. Okay. One more time. Ugh. Oh fuck! Oops. I was having a blast at this uh, booth in the Ninja Village, throwing knives and Ninja Stars. Right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I when I was in the states, I fucking that was my hobby. I bought a bunch of fucking knives and I used to throw knives and axes all over the fucking place. Right? right? <clears throat> I loved it. So when I fucking saw a booth for throwing knives i'm like i'm gonna fucking show off right <clears throat> you know having a good time right <clears throat> impress the old guy there too anyways next to me pulls up this big big fat japanese guy right <clears throat> mm -hmm. and he slams down a fucking fistful of cast so the old guy's like oh shit you know me, me too I'm like what the fuck so the old guy brings him a giant basket of fucking ninja stars and knives and he's over there throwing it, right? And he's making noises and getting serious posing before he throws it and shit, right? <laughs> Big fat guy posing. Yeah. And he's like, ah! and he throws it and the shit just flies everywhere. Ping, ping, ping. You know, <clears throat> old is getting dangerous. Old guy's just like, <laughs> like leaning against the wall, <laughs> trying not to get hit. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> so I'm just like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? You know? Then I see behind him a little old woman, like cheering him on, a little tiny old Japanese woman. Then I realize what's going on. That's his mom, right? And this guy is mentally handicapped. Right? Oh. He has a mind of a child, and he's having a blast, you know. Oh, so that's, that's yeah. Sweet. So for to so to me, I saw that. And I thought about me throwing them fucking stars and knives and shit and having a blast too. And I thought like, oh shit, I must have looked just like that, that, that dude. And I fucking felt like <clears throat> a bunch of emotions. I, I felt you. guilty for <clears throat> looking down on him, you know. Right. Because yeah, I, you know, he's 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 retarded. You know, like he can't. He's having a good time. You know, who am I to fucking look down at him, right? right, right <laughs> and right. then the other part of it, it was like, I don't want to be him. Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and Do I look like I, that? <laughs> this, this guy is 40 years old. <laughs> he, you know, and <laughs> so my wife, I have, a, I have a couple of stars and fucking knives left. And then my wife says, aren't you going to fucking throw, throw your ninja stars? I was like, no, no, let's go home. I just want to go home. I, just, I need to go home and die now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the chat going your, crazy. <laughs> your, your wife was the grandma. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It, it, it fucking messed me up. I, you know, it messed you. me up. I feel you, man. So, so I, I didn't Poor want to Kirby. tell the story because <laughs> I thought Kirby. I think it's funny. What's up? No, uh, no, I just said poor Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't want to tell the story because I was gonna take if Dillard ever fucking flies down here with his family, I'll take his kids. His kids gonna love it, and John I know throw. he'll throw. I know exactly. <laughs> I think I think Dillard would get into throwing fucking knives and shit. It's gonna be fun, you know. And I just, damn, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just be crushing folks' dreams. <laughs> why? You know, like, why did God do that? Or why was fate? Or just to show me, hey, this is what you look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I wouldn't read too deep into it. It's just one of those things in life that happens. <sighs> man, well... Not only like this is what you look like, you know. <laughs> look at the ugly side of yourself, you know. Like, yeah. Because I was thinking like this, I was looking down on this guy, you know. 
Yeah. And uh, I felt guilty, like right away when I realized he was handicapped. <clears throat> Anyways, that's the story. And now that you know, I don't, I don't know if I'm still going to have a blast. I appreciate you taking the time to retell it. <laughs> See, next thing you know, did if this ever happens, then it shows you a picture of him fucking <laughs> posing. <laughs> <They're just, "Yeah!" laughs> I bought my kids. Um, hey, the, Link, uh, Linkovich says, wanting to throw ninja stars is universal. You should feel good. It unites us. What's up, Link? I think so. I I, I used to think so. It, it's, it's different when if, if you were there and you you would want to go home too. <laughs> like, let's go. Yeah, I remember we used to we used to go to Tijuana all the time. You know, because where uh-huh. we live, we live close. It's just about you know two hour drive. Um, and uh, I would get a bunch of ninja stars and throw them around and whatever. And then like it was, when I would get them, I'd be like, these are like these are not even cool. These are like they're not sharp. I thought they were a lot cooler from like video games and stuff. And I, I kind of like uh-huh. lost interest in them. Like real real little, I lost interest. And the throwing knife stuff, that's just like, I, I don't have the time to dedicate to become good at something else, you know? So. Yeah. I'll show you how. You'll get good really fast. It's right there on the spot. It doesn't take much. Yeah. You'll, you'll get addicted. Everyone gets addicted to um, throwing knives. Uh, that's my been my experience. <clears throat> The baby's crying. Oh, M- mommy's got him though. I got, I got these two little guys over here in this room. Mm-hmm. How many kids you got, Kirby? I got three. Okay. Matt, of course, says John Dillard throws a mean ninja star. I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the knives, Dillard, they're and ninja star, they're fucking sharp as fuck. They're they're real. Ninja stars and knives on the at that booth. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you you have a good time. So no no Tijuana specials there. <laughs> this is uh, Matt of course says I'm good at knife throwing, but I'm Australian and they took our guns. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> oh look at that. Matt of course like, we we got to do something. Fucking boomerang won't get it done. Boomerang, <laughs> yeah, the boomerang. <laughs> Land of the boomerang. <laughs> <clears throat> so, what else is there in Japan? Well, Japan is the land. Like any of any kind of cryptozoological things happening over in Japan that I could do a tour? Maybe try to go find the the missing Japanese Bigfoot kind of deal. They got um, the Kappa. You know what that is? No. C A P P A. If you want to Google it, it's a river creature, uh, and it'll fuck you up too. Uh, I mean, uh, legend, yeah, legendary. My, my fuck you up, not me. <laughs> it eats your asshole. Like what? <laughs> I don't know these things. Like a, That's the legend. So it's like a white girl. <laughs> oh. So it's a type K A P P A, and you'll see it. I think you you it's know what it is. Racist. <laughs> so it's a white girl. Get out of here. <clears throat> It'll drown you, eat your asshole, <laughs> when <laughs> mean spirited fucking river sprite, whatever it is. This thing it. looks like a ninja turtle. Yeah, yeah. With a bald head. <laughs> well yeah, ninja turtles have bald heads. Yeah. He said, that's not a legend. That's a fantasy Kirby. Oh, I'm my bad. Not bald head. Uh, the egg, the, um, the eagle's nest. <laughs> yeah. The monk, the, uh, yeah. the friar, the friar. friar tuck. Tuck. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. The, they have a bunch of caves and, um, rivers where this thing supposed to exist. And do the, do the thing. They have a bunch of, um, Fishing all over the place. You know, it's Japan. 
I now, another thing is uh, stationary. I'd like, to, I'd like to see some. Of the, if I win, I'd like to see some of the Shinto shrines. And, <clears throat> I mean, those oh, are yeah, be- yeah. beautiful gardens, man. I love Japanese gardening. They're then they amazing. have the castles too. Yeah. The so what's cool about the castle? You look outside, and you can count the floors of the castle, right? But when you go mm-hmm. inside, there's actually more floors. Than okay. what, what's shown on outside, and that's done on purpose to confuse uh, invaders mm. that are storming the castle. <clears throat> Here's my question about the castles in particular. Uh-huh. I know that that some of the traditional building is that very light wood and the parchment and paper and blah blah blah. Right. I mean, hell, I fucking watch Shogun. Come on. Anyway. Are the castles built the same way, or are they stone edifices? What are what are they? They're built the same way. So what's what's cool is that <clears throat> Japanese buildings um, may look like buildings in the West, but it they they actually evolve differently. They're separate. So there's yeah. no nails ever used in a Japanese uh, <clears throat> building. Mm-hmm. It's all wedges and um cuts that hold right. these uh buildings together right so the right. japanese castle it's the same way they have a pressure pressure system yeah they use in architecture and they might find that interesting i'm not sure i do i find that interesting I do too. the stationary too that it was sewn off the Ferrari pencils and stuff that he uses. Mm-hmm. I know he'll, he'll have a fucking blast because uh, the stationery stores here are fucking huge. The art stores, mm-hmm. he'll just be walking around just bleeding money. <coughs> yeah. Take my money. <laughs> His family's probably going to be upset. Let's go. <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> they have um in the stationery store or the hobby stores, the stationery store, they have like leather working um I don't know what to call it, seamstress stuff, the sewing stuff, right, tailor stuff. It's it's like a true hobby store or um I don't know what was it occupations? No, no, occupations. <coughs> trade? Yeah, trade. Tradesman stuff. <clears throat> While in the States, I've never, ever seen hobby stores that that are like, have these cobbler stuff and shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, during summertime and the uh, the warmer season, there's a lot of um, bugs that you can right. run around and catch. Kids love that. They they get their um, little cages and uh, big old butterfly nets, and they run around the forest catching bugs. Most of the bugs here, you can fight them. So you got the prime mantis. You got the rhino beetles. It's called a Oh, it's like Pokemon. See? Yeah, that's exactly the um, the concept. <clears throat> too. Like, I got extremely addicted to um, when I caught my first rhino beetle. Um, I was scared. I was coming home middle of the night, and uh, <clears throat> I hear this big fucking humming thing like flying at me, and it's. It's flying at me strangely, like, not in a straight line. Like, you know how Mario flies? He goes up, 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 and then down. Yeah. Yes. And then up, yeah, up, up, yeah. up, 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 He climbs, and then he falls down. And he, yeah. So this thing, this fat thing, so fat, it's flying at me like that. Right? <laughs> and, and I see it. It's huge. It's got this fucking horn. And I, I, I don't know if it's going to bite me or sting me or anything. So I jump up. And I fucking um, spike it to the ground like a volleyball, right? <laughs> and it, it goes boom, 
crunch, you know, bounces off the fucking ground. And then it's it's um, knocked out on the ground. I'm like, holy shit, what is this? i never seen one of these, you know? So I run inside the house. And I tell my wife, there's this fucking alien, <laughs> fucking <laughs> giant fucking butt, <laughs> flying cockroach <laughs> slash fucking... <laughs> Rhino looking thing. We'll be uh, so, right back. I gotta uh, okay. go ahead and continue your story. Uh, okay. I gotta I gotta print something out. All right. Okay. So I said this thing attacked me. My wife's like, "Oh, that's a kabuto mushi. They can't hurt nobody. They don't. Their mouths are too tiny. They like, they don't have no weapons. You know." I was like, "What about that fucking horn?" She's like, "Oh, <laughs> they, they they just the boys have the horn and they just wrestle each other with the horn, mm-hmm. right?" So I was like, Are you, you telling me they fight? And he's like, yeah, yeah. Little kids catch them and they fight them, you know, in the summertime. So I was like, oh, shit. I grabbed a jar and I ran outside <laughs> looking for it. And it was waking up. But um, I had spiked it so hard that um, it paralyzed the, the left side of its body. And it could only walk sideways like a crab. Oh. Yeah. So I picked it up. Horrible, horrible person. I, I didn't know what it was. I picked it up. I put it in the jar. I was like, you're mine, right? You know, tomorrow I'm I'm going to find somebody with a, a with a bug too, and I'm going to fight, you know? <laughs> so I stayed up all night outside trying to catch another one. And then um, every night I stayed up. I went and bought a, in the morning, I bought a big old fucking butterfly net. And yeah, I was addicted. I caught, I caught three of them uh-huh. and I kept putting them in the same jar, right? Okay. So this thing didn't live too long. It died, right? So it's body, but I didn't throw it out. I kept it in the jar. So I threw, threw the new one in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know? And I was thinking to myself, like, when, when I was at work, I was like, can't wait to go home. I'm gonna find somebody. I'm not. I've been. I've been asking people at the at the work. You know, if they caught one, mm-hmm. you want to fight. <laughs> you want to fight. You, know? <laughs> you want to fight bugs. <laughs> Anyways, I was thinking like, could you imagine if some giant hand grabbed you, dog, right, right. and then stuck you <laughs> in a little room, and then you look in. You look at the corner, and there's a skeleton of a dead dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you would, oh, shit. You would just know that you, you, you were now on an episode of Star Trek. Yeah. He pulls you out to fight another. You get beat up. <laughs> Go back in. <laughs> It's feeding time. So these things eat jello too. So I was like, <laughs> it'd be hilarious. They eat jello? Yeah. Oh, they wow. eat jello. They, their mouths are so, so fucking tiny. They're totally harmless. Harmless. Right. <laughs> Simply, sympathy for a special needs man having fun makes you s- sad. Turing, <laughs> torturing bugs make you laugh and grieve. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's a he's a special kind of guy, boys and girls. What can we say? <laughs> but the kids love it. The kids love it. And um, before my before my kids were born, so the other kids um, they knew me because I I would I would run, I would jog in the morning, and on right. on my trail, whatever that I made, <clears throat> I'd stop by each of the um, like pull up pull-up areas and do pull-ups and I'd run and to the next one. And, you know, yeah. so the, the kids knew that because they'd be going to school or coming back from school. And, uh, they knew that, that I lit where I lived and stuff. I had a, my dog with me uh, all the time. <clears throat> so, so they, they knew who I was, their, their parents and, and the kids knew. Right. And, uh, they, they saw me, um, with my Beatles, and so I got to fight the kids, and it, they did come with the fucking Beatles. Yeah, that was good. So, time. so how successful were you? What was your win loss? What do you mean? What oh, my for? Beatles. My Beatles were they sucked. Those <laughs> those kids. They had some fucking. I pull my Beetle, 
caught from the wild, you know, mm-hmm. he's he's freaking um <laughs> angry and pissed off too. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You're right. And then, and then and they, they bring out were, their 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 raised and roid rage. Fucking, yeah. Gargantuan. <laughs> 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 I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> Picks my beetle up with its horn and just throws him off the log. <laughs> so hurtful, so hurtful, so hurtful. I was like, how do you fucking get this one? <laughs> All right, let me see here. Yeah, they they know how to. This is their country. They know how to catch the <laughs> catch the big ones. They, they raise them on roids. <laughs> Yeah. You get the Draco, what was his name, in Rocky IV? <laughs> you you got to go up against that. Drago, yeah. Drago. Drago. <laughs> I must break you. No! <laughs> get that damn thing away from my <laughs> Yeah. Kids love it. So when I had, man, I got so addicted to it, I was always think, thinking, uh, there's a lot of stuff I got. I ran into. I was like, man, I can't wait till I have kids. I'm gonna show them this, you know. Yeah. And that was like one of them. And my kids, I got two girls first, so I was like, damn it, <laughs> <laughs> girls hate bugs. You put the stem they, on the apple, there, buddy. They they love the idea of catching the bug and fighting it like Pokemon. Right. They, they're like, daddy, daddy, you you pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you pick it up. Don't be scared of it. And then my daughter picks it up and just starts screaming and running. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, shut up. Just drop it. Ah! She's still holding it and running and screaming. Yeah. <laughs> like, just drop it. You're looking so stupid right now. She's crying and crying and screaming. No, I want to put it in the cage. <laughs> they put it in the cage. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> are your are your uh, are your little girls bilingual? Yeah, they're bilingual. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <sighs> their their mom's Japanese genes are so strong too. I they look they're... like her and. Yeah, say, they look more Japanese than I bet anything else. Adorable. I bet they're yeah, yeah. Adorable. I'm a ugly fucking goon. So thank God. Again, I think I said it before. You know, we did. That they got yeah. yeah. We're, we're, listen, <laughs> we're always thankful that our kids <laughs> don't look like us. Yeah. Now, now, my my poor unfortunate son, my youngest one. Oh no, he, he looks just like me. Bless his heart. <laughs> but but he's a he's a boy, so that's good. That's good. That's a plus. Uh, yeah, the the females, you know, <laughs> they, 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 it's a curse. It's a curse. <laughs> yeah, they say they say beauty is a curse, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so is being a caveman. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Cancel out my caveman jeans. Well, Manticore, the um, they're tall, so they're they have these long necks. And these long fucking arms and and legs, so they're like giraffes. <laughs> oh, Dillard just and they run really fucking funny and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be making fun of your kids. The girls are string beans. <laughs> like... Yeah, but but the. You know how you know how that goes. You know, girls like that, they're gonna be beautiful when they grow up. You know. Oh sure. And little fucking models walking around. <clears throat> you so, know, that's that's a, you know, you want your daughter to be pretty, but at the same yeah. time, it's like, why can't she be ugly so I don't have to worry about the dudes coming after her? You know. I'm I'm not I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about because you'll kill them. <clears throat> yeah. I'll, well, that that that's a given, you know. That's a given. But just uh, know, know, in, this, know this, young man. I love my daughter. I don't even like her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm all about <clears throat> building a a big family, big family. Right, so, right. Uh, her being as attractive as possible, she she can have her pick of any man, you know, any man. 
Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so she doesn't have to settle for anything. You know, true, someone who treats that. you like crap, you know, <clears throat> and then I'm going to teach them, teach them everything, you know, Hell yeah. Hell about yeah. the dudes and stuff. Some of these dudes, they just, what, you're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend for fucking eight, nine, ten years? Yeah. When, yeah. when, when you, when are you going to put the ring on? You know, you commit, what the fuck bro. you doing? <clears throat> you got to commit. Yeah. See, you don't want to put that ring on because you you think you you think you're gonna keep your options open and shit. Ten years though, eight years, you might as well fucking be married, shacking up. Yep. Stupid. Yep. Agreed. <laughs> How's that? What the fuck you doing? <laughs> yeah, the, the, those guys are are losers too. Stringing you along. Mm-hmm. Tell them you don't want nobody who don't want you, don't want you as a wife. Hey Timothy Olson, good morning. The link is pinned if you guys want to pop in. I shudder to think Timothy Olson going to come in here, but you know, it's a price you got to pay for for being the host. <laughs> Just right. kidding, Timothy. Just kidding, brother. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, so love Kirby, my kids, no babies. Kirby, my my least favorite thing to draw in the world, man made the things. cars, man made things. I hate it. Oh, <laughs> that's that's gonna be a pain in the ass. I hate drawing. Go, it makes me feel like I'm went, doing drafting instead of drawing. well. You you went with noir too, so that's just everything. Yeah. So it went fantasy. No, 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 no. Um, the cars at least are organic looking. You know, oh. ra- they're rounded and whatever, so that makes it fun. Oh. Okay. Like if I had to draw a bunch of Italian race cars, I'd just go hang myself. I'm like, no, I'm not. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> uh, Matt Gordon says, poor Tim, not as free flowing as a tree or a field. Right. So, like, if you go fantasy, that's what I've found is uh, you end up drawing a lot of nature stuff. Yeah. Now, yeah, let me show you, for example. Bam. Draw nature all day, baby. Love it. Yeah. You know. Because my training, I'm a, I'm a landscape painter. That's my strength. On, on that panel, mm-hmm. um, I... You could try saving it, right? Don't go and fuck up the pound. Just save it before you do it. Mm-hmm. And then you, you remember how they showed you how to blur things, right? Yeah. Like, don't do it to the whole panel. Right. Keep just the, the background. Um, yeah. But do it uh, spot, spot it, you know, just a little mm-hmm. bit here, maybe yeah, a little bit here. Push some of it Not back. all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not all. Yeah. I'll and then. Do that. Yeah, that's gonna pop that car out, make it look like it's moving. <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna do some motion lines on the car too. I hate yeah. doing that trope, but you know, it's a trope for a reason. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a reason. I think one of my um Twitch friends, he he's a comic book artist and a stand up comedian. Uh-huh. And uh yeah, he, he knows a lot about art history and stuff like that he has all these books he showed me this one famous artist that um he has a he drew an old timey car right Mm -hmm. and the the cloud behind it was like the grim reaper oh it's a it's a famous it's a famous one famous comic book um um drawing too i just don't know the details but i thought that looked awesome like you can kind of make out the Grim Reaper as he's speeding along. <clears throat> yeah, that's and, awesome. And I was telling him, that reminds me of that um, James Dean. Um, mm-hmm. The, You know how he had the little devil or whatever? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that picture. All right. I'm always jealous of people that went to school for art. <laughs> I didn't go to school for art. I just I'm self-taught mostly. But what I did well, do was like when I was uh, learning to paint. I ever showed you my paintings? No, no, no. Yeah, uh, I've you never shown me. Let me pull some up here. I gotta stop sharing this. Stop sharing. One second here. <clears throat> so what I did was to teach myself to paint in the style that I wanted to paint. Um, that's not it. Um, I was heavily inspired by Monet and Renoir, a lot of the Impressionists. And uh, so when I started out, I just did studies. All I did was replicas, but it was paint stroke for paint stroke for paint stroke, learning how they did what they do. So early on, I was doing shit like that and I didn't really care for it. Let me. Uh, okay. So then I just started. Like that's wow. the first first painting I ever did right there in Impressionism. Yeah, I remember I just, that. Yeah, I just did a replica. And then oh. I just started doing my own thing. <clears throat> wow, look at that one. So that this one is, pops. Yeah, this is plein air, literally painted on the spot at that time, all in one go. So your light is only gonna last you about an hour. So you got you got to learn you got to learn how to paint really fast. Damn, that's how you get good too. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a speed. That's why I like scribbled so much. Wow, that was, that, that, was, that was fun. Yeah. That's my current that favorite. Cool. That one's that one's very moody. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. This was actually the first knife painting I ever did. This is all knife. Oh yeah. That and, was nice. Uh, I did it on a live stream. Uh, I used to live stream every Saturday fine art painting <clears throat> on Facebook. And this one sold before I even finished it. So that was a hoot. And then wow. the great the great Stuart Davies on YouTube. Uh, uh -huh. He does these big panoramic vistas with clouds. And uh, I've been following him for years. And someone asked him, can you do that with acrylic? And he said, no, you can't. So I did it with acrylic and I sent him this. And he goes, I stand corrected. <laughs> he said, I stand corrected. <laughs> because yes, you can. <laughs> Oh, I hated that one. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. That one. The slow one. These are, covered, uh, these are uh, the canals in England. That was fun. Well, no. <clears throat> but yeah, I always that's... wanted to get into, get into something like this, but the art supply thing, the price tags, they always frighten me off. Nah, acrylic, acrylics are cheap. Acrylics are cheap. So, like, you can go to—I don't know about over there, but here I can go to Hobby Lobby and I can get a six-pack, uh -huh. six-pack of sixteen by twenty canvases, which is the bread and butter size. You know, uh, get a six-pack of those for next to nothing, like less than. Well, it was less than ten bucks. In today's economy is probably twenty. But uh, you get a pack of those, get all your basic colors, and do all your own mixing, and you're groovy. All you need is brushes, water, and paint. Yeah. But yeah, coming back to doing comics after all that time of doing the paintings has been quite a uh, adjustment. 
when you decided to go digital for comics? I, I came back into comics because the economy died with the lockdowns. <clears throat> and uh, I couldn't give a painting away. And where before, you know, paintings pretty much between paintings and my counseling career, they bought this house, put kids through college, you know, they sold good. And uh, the economy died and I couldn't give a damn painting away. Plus, Kirby, I got canceled. What? I was, I was, uh, I was the curator of a fine art gallery and also the head of a local art association. And some of the uh, little pieces of trash in it they were offended because I wouldn't let people show things like this one cat. He vomited on a canvas and wanted to call it art and varnished over it and said, you know, this is, this is my art. I want to hang it in your gallery. I'm like, no, fuck no, that's not art. <laughs> <laughs> so they, you're gatekeeping. I said, my whole job as a curator is to be a gatekeeper. You know? <laughs> So, yeah, fuck, fuck, you. No. <laughs> fuck you. No, that's not going to happen. And then, you know, these people, they wanted to, uh, this one girl, she uh, bought the little kits to make necklaces and earrings and whatever. And she wanted to put that in my gallery. And I'm like, no, that's a craft. That's, a, that's something high school kids do. You know, that's not upscale fine art. Get out of here with that. They got pissed at me and I got canceled. Oh, no. So fuck them. I mean, I was still selling more art than they were, but, you know, they took over the art association. Of course, it immediately died because if you have no standards, you have no standards. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a draw stream and I'm not sharing anything either of us are doing. Let me uh, embiggenate you. Yeah, exactly, Tree Goblin. Gluing seashells onto ashtrays is still art, right? You know, that's the kind of shit they <laughs> wanted to bring in the gallery. I'm like, no. And even if I agreed with, with like their cause, like uh, these veterans were doing crafts where they would like make train whistles out of wood and whatever. I'm sorry, I love veterans, I are one, but no, I am not going to show that in the gallery. <laughs> it's not a thing. Oh, man. Not going to happen. Sorry, Scooter. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a great story. It is. It was a great experience. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was a horrible experience. <laughs> it was like so many, so many things run through my mind and lessons from that story. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, lesson number one is never be afraid to be canceled. Stand up for your virtues. Because fuck them, that's why. That's, that's probably the only only thing I do, don't envy <clears throat> from traditional, traditionally trained art art life, or you know, is that <laughs> fine arts, <laughs> modern it's a, art? It's a bizarre <laughs> world, man. It is a bizarre world. <clears throat> Let's see. Manticore says, how dare you diminish my art <laughs> to a craft? <laughs> right? That's the way the fuckers were thinking. Like, what do you mean this isn't art? Well, you know, I don't know what your mommy told you when you made that, but it's not art. Sorry, boo-boo. Sorry, Scooter. All right. I want to. How do I do this? <laughs> That's why. <clears throat> All right. 
So I, I got this very bland fucking <clears throat> profile I'm working on right here. Mm-hmm. And uh, they always want you to make it dynamic. Throw that camera on the ground or up yeah. in the air. Yeah. <clears throat> but I also want to show the transition between this stance and the second panel. Right. So <clears throat> he fires, and then uh, as he brings it up, you know, puts another Pretty shell shorter. in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. At the same time. Boom, boom. Yeah. So I got to yeah. throw these um, inlets in. Mm-hmm. Right. But again, um, I don't know how much I want to commit because I'm going to have to, like I said, throw that camera on the ground or in the air. Mm-hmm. I just don't know how to <clears throat> go about speaking, doing this. Speaking of throwing things on the ground, welcome back, John Dillard. Hey, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? <laughs> I got a, I got a sausage egg McMuffin. Oh, oh nice! Rock on, brother. Is this from uh, McDonald's? Well, now yep. let's think. Let's think about that for a minute, Kirby. Uh huh. It's a sausage egg and cheese McMuffin. Where else would it be from? Well, you you can get a sausage. Uh, <laughs> you can't shit, get a McMuffin anywhere except McDonald's. Come on, man. Did he say make McMuff? McMuffin? Yes, he I thought he said. Oh, okay. I'm, you just can get, fucking, I'm just fucking weak, man. You can get that same sandwich at the Chow Hall. <laughs> the defense. <laughs> <laughs> True story. True story. <laughs> the, the, uh, one of the biggest. So, what parts. were you guys talking about while I was gone? Fine arts and art, modern art. Art, modern art, fine art. Canceling my cancellation <laughs> story. Mm. <laughs> Some guy threw up on a fucking painting and wanted to call that or bring that in his gallery. <clears throat> You're gatekeeping me. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Was the title of the piece College? College. <laughs> I think he called it Collagen, maybe. I don't know. Collagen. No, it's disgusting. And then uh, before you came in, I was uh, talking about I don't know how to how to do this um, panel. He's, I want him to um, transition between the first panel to the second panel. So as he brings the he fires, so and then as he sh- brings the shotgun up. He loads another shell at the same time, then fires again. Uh-huh. I want to show speed, how fast he does it. Boom, boom, boom. Fires three shots. And uh-huh. uh, and then this um, angle is very plain, so I don't want to commit to uh, <clears throat> drawing the whole thing out because uh, I'm going to have to change the the camera angle to make uh, make it look good. I'm still figuring things out, though. <clears throat> yep, and I'm going to step away and grab some coffee, gentlemen. I'll be right back. All right. Well, um... I'm just cleaning okay. things up. Oh, shit. They were shit talking you, John. <laughs> That's what Madrigal says. He's he's on the phone right now, chat. Man, yesterday I was so tired. 
chat. Sorry about that. I just got a phone call right as you were talking to me. That's all right. I understand. Busy man. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> What is it you're trying to portray? Because if you want to show something, three things happening in rapid succession. Right. They should be very narrow or very thin panels. Okay. Like boom, boom, boom. You know, three different angles, three shots happening, but from three slightly different angles. Slightly different. Slightly okay. different. Yeah, not vastly different. Just boom, boom, boom. We're all, you know, shit just happening. And then just have even put on there, boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Because you don't need to show the guy reloading because, I mean, you can't fire a shotgun without reloading. So it kind of does the work for you. I, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> this is this is a technique, though, you know, that I wanted to uh, have, you know. So, oh, like, okay. shotgun uh, enthusiasts will see it. They'll be like, oh, damn. This guy's using real cycling techniques, and his uh, <clears throat> and his uh, manga. <laughs> Tree Goblin says, "Fanatra right. is taking the day off. He'll probably he's probably training to fight Lean to defend my honor." <laughs> 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 Funny. Shut up about fun? Liam. Why do you make fun of the way I laugh, John? It's hurtful. I make fun of your interest in Liam. I have no interest in Liam. I have very homosexual. Of, I have a lot of interest in uh, my fellow CGers who get tormented by that insect. <laughs> All right. Here's three panels down. <clears throat> Let's do this. Plot this out. First those are, one. Those are really long panels. It's okay. We can, I can, you know, it's, it's, it's for the narrowness rather than the length. We can just cut it up later. So uh, let me plot this out. <clears throat> what do you think, John? From the ground up or from the top down? Um, no, I think you should fan it. I think it should be uh, at the top. The level should be maybe a foot above his head. A foot above his head? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you do one. And the, the angle should be about four paces in front of him about a foot above his head and it should be an angle of him three quarter view straight on and then three quarter view opposite just boom 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 three three quick successions okay so the middle one will be straight on okay and then the two sides going to be three quarter views. <clears throat> Let's see, try to go this way. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, um, in all three, right, we want to get that barrel almost oh, the like... Muzzle? Yeah, yeah, the muzzle? Yeah, the muzzle. Ah. As, if, as if you were... Um, you want the muzzle in the shot because you want the, the actual boom, boom, boom happening. The muzzle is the the barrel end is the most dangerous part of the gun, and we always want to see the most dangerous thing. Okay. And uh, he would have that. And, you know, he's all, he's shooting in the same direction, but it's just three slightly different views of him shooting one, two, three. Okay. So we got the cyclic. So this is one, two, three. Cyclic will be two. I have no idea. Oh, it's all right. I'm just talking to myself. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so 
What you working on today? I am working on a Captain Infinity page today because I am broke. <laughs> yeah. I love that motivation. He loved he loved that um the the cover you did. The pen Yeah. One. Yeah. I really liked it. I was uh, watching him stream earlier. Yeah. He was aesthetic. Also he was uh EFAP and some uh, other nerds, and they don't want to play with him. They blocked him. Who? I don't know. I don't know. That that's his circle. That he's, he's talking he's about. Uh, he's talking about uh, anti-derivative Jill. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know these people? Of course, I know everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's. Oh man! I know, I know tourists around here. I, I feel bad for him. Like he knows a lot about the subject they were talking about. They're talking about time travel today. Uh huh. You know, so yeah, they didn't want him to come play. Get this thing go. New CG, hate me, Tree Golden says. I've been blocked by four channels in a week. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt, of course, laughing at Captain. <laughs> yeah, Captain. <laughs> I like his accent. Sometimes I can't understand him, though. So. I think the dude's hysterical myself. Yeah, he 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 reads some lines, and I was like, today he was like, uh, what did he, what did he say? My mind <laughs> in his accent. Yeah. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. I was like, damn, I need to get that on a <clears throat> on a clip or something. My mind. <clears throat> Katie Dog has stuck my Twitter. He's a good velo. Velo? I don't know what that is. Manticore. Tony Frog won't let me speak. New CG hate me. <clears throat> Katie did need, need not be fucking. <laughs> okay, I imported an image and I can't find it anywhere. Where did it go? So we need the the barrel. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Let me save this as before. Do 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 do. Where is it? Going <clears> to <throat> be. Once this shit's gonna take for another fucking two or three weeks. Okay, you know, it's on my Twitter. Something value. Damn this hello <clears throat> heart. Can't see what's behind it. Nothing. Just value. He's good value. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand, Manticore. Yeah, yes, I was so tired. All these thoughts just floating around my mind. Put above his head.
is this? Pops, good morning. It's just a work stream, brother. Straight on. Yes, they. Uh, I think. I keep think thinking I finished that page, but uh, every time I look at, it, I see something new. <clears throat> Here we go. I'll show you. This what on yeah, your I was stream, thinking. Uh, I was thinking like this. Um, okay. Can we see the uh, Dillard? Um, Doc. Yeah, give me just a second here. All right. Get over there to you. Think about this angle. Okay. Just like that, and then right next to it, just slightly to the left, and then slightly to the right. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Firing, firing the gun. But that's just my idea. That's all right. I'll try it. Gotta learn what works. I don't pull things off. Save this one. Cut. Let's see. KSS says, one live stream, three people, zero talking, fun. <laughs> Fucking about it. <laughs> Happy B Day, KSS. Thank you for remembering. Happy birthday. Back to Pops. Siggy KS. And uh, pollen is ridiculous right now. My eyes are on fire. What the hell oh, is pollen? Another... That's what we get here in the part of the earth that can grow things. All right. It sounded like it was supposed to be an insult. What no. was that? No, it was just literally. It's it's what happens here, where things grow. All right. What the hell? Hell yeah, the pollen here is unreal. Alright, why is my gradient not working? What the hell? Uh, happy birthday, Kirby Kirby. Thank you, KSS. Happy birthday, man. And uh, I got this ass eating copper <coughs> on my screen. Let me get that clear that out of here. <clears throat> eating 
ass, huh? <laughs> That's a scary monster, man. <laughs> you want to go hunting it? Let, let it lie. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see how, how to make this. Yeah, I need I need some assistance here also. It's something I've, I'm finding vexing. So in the side panel of the car here, John, I want to put little white hubcaps in there. Uh -huh. And I was going to use the ellipse tool, um, but it it won't let me move them. It doesn't create them as a separate layer. Sure it does. All right. Create a new layer. Out of... Hold on, i got to find my mouse. All right. New layer. New raster layer or just regular? Yeah, raster layer. Okay. Yeah, you see that little button right there, right where it says 100% normal layer one. The, yeah. There's a there's a row of uh, icons above that. Yeah. Not up there. Right above Please. your layers. The first no no no. Right above your layers. The first row. Yeah. That one all the way to the very left. That's you just click that and it creates a new layer. Oh, yeah, 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 I knew that. Why, why so, did you go through three menus? I don't know why I bothered doing that. But anyway, <clears throat> so I go here to the ellipse tool, right? Mm -hmm. Now, first thing you got to do is stop messing around and zoom in on the area you're going to be working on. Okay. All right. Now, make a... Uh, go to the, yeah, go to the ellipse and then make a circle. Now, if you hold down shift while you're dragging your circle, it will make it a perfect circle. You have it on black, so you want it on white. Yep. All right, shift. Okay, get about the size you want there. All right, and okay. fill it in. Then fill it in. Yeah. If I can find my damn mouse. Well, what the hell? I cannot find my fucking mouse. There it is. Then it comes over here. There it is. All right. And I lost it again. There we go. Bucket fill. And nothing happened. Are you on the layer that you made the circle? No, you are not. Oh, fuck me. All right. Live and learn. Here we go. Okay. Go to the top. <laughs> There's an arrow, like a back arrow. There's a forward arrow. Do the forward arrow. There you go. Oh, there now you got it back. Okay. All right. I'm going to move the fucker where I want it. God damn it. Why would you do that? Why would you not <laughs> listen? If you ask for it, why would you not listen to advice? I'm out of here. All right. Now we bucket tool it right. No, absolutely not. Are you crazy? Hmm. Look. This is, this is the problem, right? You made a black circle, and then you made another white circle. So now you have two circles on that layer. So I need to get rid of them. All right, Jeez whiz. You're such a patient teacher, John. Okay, just make a new fucking layer. <laughs> make a new layer. layer. Okay, get go. your new, <laughs> take that new layer. Okay, mm -hmm. now go to your ellipse tool. Okay. Okay, now, wait, 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 wait just a second, okay? I'm waiting. Now, because I need to go to my clip studio and find out where it's at, okay? So now that I have the ellipse, okay, do you have a window for tool property? Yes. 
Okay, go to the window for tool property. Create fill. Yes, there you go. Copy now, that. go over to your layer and make a circle, a big one. Any size, doesn't matter. Make a perfect circle. Did it? The it, bigger, the better. I did it, and it didn't fill it. Okay, fine. Then take your m magic lasso, your, your magic wand tool. Oh, look, you, you haven't even clicked it. It's still moving the circle around because it's not a perfect circle. You made an ellipse. Fuck me. And control Z is doing nothing. No, just click on it again. There you go. Okay, now get rid of it. Backspace. Okay. Do it again, but this time hold down shift. And make the bigger the circle, the better. Make it big. Click again. Okay, right. now you can take your little icon up on top to maneuver and move your uh, your image around. No, not not that one, not that one. Up here on top, the top bar. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, that one right there. Click that one because that one will allow you to move it and also resize it. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. okay. Now that you have that. You just duplicate that layer and put your second hubcap on the other tire. Copy that. Duplicate layer. Bam. Now move the next layer. There you go. All right. Thank you, sir. And then we merge those onto the car. Yep. If you like. I does. I like tidy. Now I gotta shade them. Coolness, thank you. Appreciate you. starting to get a headache. I do that to people. I'm sorry. I'm just moving all the blood away from my eyes. Have you slept? No. <clears throat> Might be a good idea. Says you. Yes. Says me. I'm not drawing these comics for my health, you know. <laughs> I understand that. Totally. Okay, so it says, are you crazy? Yeah, a little bit. That's a prerequisite for these parts. Yes, <laughs> and then the magic word says, a little bit. He gave me a very informative tutorial, so I know the struggle, Doc. Oh. Yes. They gave, uh, you had a tutorial, what, Manticore? John's actually a good, uh, good person to turn to for help with this shit. <laughs> yeah, like I, I you... make a, I make a very concerted effort to not use extra words when I'm guiding somebody through something. So I expect them to pay attention to what I'm saying because I'm using very few words. He is, however, a testy teacher. It's like, uh, it's like I understand that, like, you know, you might have seen somebody do it a certain way or you have questions about it. But if you knew what you were doing, you wouldn't be asking me. So just do it like I tell you to do it.
And then on your own time, you can like experiment and come up with your own ways and be like, ah, that guy John was a hack. I could have done it so much better this way. Well, in my case, it's that, you know, I do have experience with Photoshop. So instinctively, you want to do certain things and I recognize that this is different. And therefore, I accept the rebuke. The only thing I can't teach people is how to look at what they've done and be unhappy with it. Well, I do that every day of my life. You can't teach that sort of self-loathing. <laughs> Some people walk around here with no shame at all. No shame, Doc. Where are you front to? <laughs> He's taking a jab at me, I think. <laughs> Was it yesterday? What did he say? <laughs> do, you not love, do I not love comics? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why do you hate comics? <laughs> very, very, very hurtful. Why do you hate your own eyes? Why do you do this to your eyes? You have to look at this for hours. <laughs> this is, yes, once upon a time. <laughs> and then the, Dario's here with the bunny emotes again. Hello, Dario. But, <coughs> Matikor says, LOL, and da -da 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 Dario. <coughs> What's up, man? I remember we had a boy calling our uh, our house. Uh-huh. For my sister. I think he was her boyfriend or whatever. But, or trying to be or something. And he was a, you know, a house phone. Right? I answered the phone like, what the fuck is this? I'm all angry. <laughs> and, you know, I said on the phone who it was, right? Like, I was like, what the fuck is this? What do you want? He's like, it's uh, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> He's nervous. And I was like, hey, Stella, you got B -B 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 Bradley on the phone for you? <laughs> And that was it. Everybody laughed her to scorn. Was, she couldn't even. She couldn't even handle like dating him no more because it, no, it was B -B -B Bradley. She had to get rid of him. <laughs> Poor B -B -B Bradley. Poor guy, man. Poor Bradley. To get a sweet pie. Uh, but and the one who laughed loud was my dad. He was like in the other room, going ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that guy. He was so hard and, and staunch on everything. But he allowed my sisters to have boyfriends when they were like in middle school. What? I don't get that guy. Yeah. You know, I think because he took this hands-off approach, right? Like my mom was responsible for raising the girls, and he was responsible for the boys. Okay. And I, and I think that was a mistake. Why my is mom, that? My mom is terrible at raising anybody. <laughs> yeah, and, and and whether she was good or terrible, you want consistency, you know. Consistent parenting across the board. I can uh, see pieces of my parents in myself. Even the um, <laughs> even the bad stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's kind of like not I used to blame them for a lot of things, you know, but seeing this, it's kind of like showing me um, I'm their like uh, second chance or whatever. I can take the different route, you know, 
I don't know. So I don't. I don't. No, I fail. I mean, there's no way I'm going to be as good of a parent as my dad was to me. There's no way. Yeah. Talk about no infinite way. patience, right? Like, and that, I, I'm kind of going through some of the same things he was going through health wise. Like when you know, I was he was my age, or whatever. Yeah. And I and I'm I, immediately I, I I'm pissed, right? I'm not I'm like I'm not feeling well, so I'm pissed. But that guy was like infinitely patient. And he was worse off than I was pain wise. Right. Life's funny like that, Manticore says. <clears throat> Well, close I can get this camera. Well, not close, but large I can get. I want the facial expression, but I also want that barrel. Doc, have you ever tried uh, digitally painting? barely digitally draw. Because they have some pretty fantastic uh, uh, stock brushes on this program. Now, I would be very interested to see you because you know how quickly you paint, right? Right. Do a, a this background for this car, like this landscape, mm -hmm. in a digital painting style. And then just convert it to black and white. Well, let me save it and I'll try. Let me see what happens. Let's save what I got. Bam. Save as. finished even though it's not finished <clears throat> yeah I'm still constructing this page so this is I don't even know what to do with those middle panels and you probably don't need them then well no there's uh, I wrote the script and there is I have script direction I just need to open it up and look at it alright so cut this out and create a separate layer right yeah alright you don't even have to I mean the best the way that I do it I don't know if this would actually work for you mm hmm but is to like undo what you just did and then just take your layer that you already had and then uh, go down to the go up to the op the opacity and just put it all the way down oh i got you like down so you still see like a silhouette of what you're going to be working with like whatever yeah bring it more down all the way so you can barely see it Then create a new layer. Take that layer, put it underneath. Make it white. Fill it all okay. in with white. All right. Bucket fill that layer. There you go. Then create a brand new layer on top of everything. So go up to the top here. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then just work with that. So Digitally paint your background. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. Uh, so I need to go pencil, brush. Brush. Then go to your sub, sub tool and find the brush that you like. I like the gouache. Okay. Let me. Uh... Well, I'm going to try to find what I normally paint with. So. Okay. I'm a. OK, 
something that doesn't have thick round mixing brush, no wash, no oil, we'll call it oil, we'll go with that. All right, and then I guess I need a brush size here. Go with that. Let's make this big. She wears every time, dude. <sighs> I mean, I can paint black and white, so I guess I just stick with that palette, right? Yeah. Density of paint, amount of paint, opacity, brush size. Let's see what else we got here. Color stretch, randomized per stroke. <laughs> Which is like canvas. Is it? It's morning or afternoon over there? Morning. Morning? All right. It's afternoon for me. Are they? It's morning and it's a Saturday, so. The babysitter's not watching the kids, so I'm going to be probably constantly getting calls from my wife all day long. I think I was going through that earlier. Dude. I'll be back. I'm going to go see what they want. <sighs> my, my wife was telling me, babe, maybe the baby is the, <clears throat> going to rocker. And I was like, put him in there. <laughs> Yeah, so do it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what are you telling me for? You know, just, just put them in it. <laughs> like, she didn't say nothing. She didn't even move, though. And I was like, you want me to do it? <laughs> just, say you want, just say you want me to do it. <laughs> Why are you I, can't, I can't sit down and draw. You, you know how hard it is to get in the flow? And then get up, yes. and go get do something, and then yeah, I was I was telling her. Then come back in here, try to find where I left off. Get back in the groove. <laughs> A lot of these things you, you can't do. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> He's like, well, I'm busy too. <laughs> right. But see, see that. Take the kids out. To, I mean, uh, I, all I can say, Kirby, is I'm thankful my kids are grown because, <laughs> you know, my wife does her thing. I do my thing. You know, we just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's kind of how we roll. Yeah. Before the kids were uh, born, that's the way we had it. Yep. We stayed out of each other's hair. <laughs> yeah, I, need, I need to ask John. I, yeah, there's a white layer here. Okay. All right. All right. This is kind of therapeutic. Let me see. I got to look up. <clears throat> yeah. Paint that tree. That's good. All right. Then we got to play with light. So that means get heavy. under that one. Dark down here. I lost a lot of ability to um draw straight lines. So what you're doing is basically how I draw too. Yeah, there's no such thing as a straight line. Nature hates yeah. a straight line. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just pushing um, paint around, I guess, digital paint. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of trying to do line work. It's, <clears throat> what is it? It's uh, many, many crooked lines make a straight line. <laughs> well, seriously. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So, like this face, I just cutting it out right now.
Got the stupid mustache on this character. <laughs> you designed him. <laughs> That's on you. I did. I did. I do that to myself too, Kirby. I'm like, I'll go read the script. I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> it's too late now. Yeah. He's like on every fucking page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes up and he's like, this is like, God damn it. <laughs> All right. All right. Just go with it. Let's just go with it. That was terrible. There we go. Ah, all right. I admit, John was right. This is fun. Montecor, are you gonna, are you gonna come in there? Or are you going to bed? You might be going to bed. It's late, midnight. You should totally come hang out, slacker. He was working on some stuff for his uh, site or some trailers, he said. <clears throat> so he might still be doing that. Manicor is, uh, if I understand right, Manicor, and if you're still there, please let me know. You're uh, you're streaming tonight, aren't you? Oh, what? Here, let me. <sighs> Did he drop a link? I, uh, I hate sure. this. Oh, I can go to his channel? Because I'm a mod. Wow. Okay, I'm subscribed. Let me hit that bell. Yeah. I mean, that's what Carol said. Carol was saying you were you were going to be streaming. and That I should jump in and keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't fuck up your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Madagor talks like Finity almost. I, I can't follow Finity. You know. Well, but, Finity has got a little bit of a Cockney accent. Uh, Manicor is pure Australian. Oh, n- not not the accent. Not the accent. They okay. they talk in sort of like metaphors and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> and and my brain, I'm already the accents. Are, I'm already slow, you know, with the <laughs> accent, right? So when they go with the metaphor, and I'm trying to draw out in my mind <laughs> what they're talking about, I was like, fuck. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> skip, you know, skip. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Tree Goblin says, Finity hates me. Well, why does he hate you, Tree Goblin? Because uh, I think you're hilarious, you know. <laughs> well, I think Tree all Goblin. of you are hilarious. You know? yeah, everybody, so, everybody, loves, everybody loves Tree Goblin except Liam. <laughs> But Liam hates everybody because he stirs up a shitstorm, and then when people react to it, he calls himself persecuted. I tell the truth to people. How yeah. Dare, how dare you react? How dare you how react? Dare you, how dare you react? Roy. Dad doesn't like <laughs> shit talking. Okay, yeah, this is fun. I'm digging this. Well, here, herein lay the problem. You can get so caught up in doing shit like this that you don't finish the storytelling part. That's fine. You, you, you have that panel done anyways. You know, might as well just have fun right now. <clears throat> You'll be fine. I see. You're welcome, Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Liam put me. Trail, the crown found me guilty. Oh, put you on trial. The crown found me guilty. Laughing too much. Yeah. Perpetual victimhood is hell of a drug. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. This. Is... He's he's never come. Out. I've I haven't had any interactions with him. You know so. It's kind of it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like bad weather. Sooner or later, it'll show up. Uh yeah. Uh, you'll see. I kind of I see that dog. You know, eventually, I I see it like as eventually I'll meet everyone. You know. Yep. So I see that. Let's put a thicker tree back here. But as of now, I haven't 
interacting with them so I can't really talk bad about them or just say anything. I just can enjoy the comedy of it all, you know. Right. Whether he thinks it's not or it's serious, it's pretty funny, some of the stuff I'm hearing. And... Right, yeah, because it is. Yeah. It's fucking funny. I got my, got my ass kicked by life so much that all, all of this is not that serious. <laughs> like, yeah, all exactly. Not that serious. Exactly. <laughs> all right, let me, uh, I guess I'll play around with some highlights. Trigon says, Liam used to be worse. He calmed down a bit, a lot. That's good. That's good. I like to see people better themselves. <clears throat> We go way back, <laughs> Matt Cross says. <laughs> and uh, KSS says, it's kind of interesting that some people are still surprised whenever Liam acts all, you know, Liam like. Here's an example of the best indicator of future behavior is previous behavior. That is true. That is true. That's what they, that is what they say. There is a good bit of wisdom in that. Okay, why is white not being white? I don't understand. Sometimes I just let let people give them their space, you know? They'll become whatever they become. Oh, I see what it's doing. It doesn't know how to really paint. It's just... It's just sort of pretending it's blending. Right. Well, you they have a blending type brush. And um yeah. let me see. And impressionism you don't blend. Yeah. Ever. Okay. It is raw color against raw color so that the viewer does optical blending. In other words, when you step away from the painting, <clears throat> your eye will do the work. So, with my newfound understanding of that, I didn't ask you to do that. I want black. There we go. Let's drop that brush size a little bit. Coming in good. Look at my little face here. Is it ugly? That's what I want. Get make them uglier. Oh, I'm gonna share your screen while I go refill my coffee, Kirby. All right. Let's let's embiggenate you. Bam. Well, now you're using some kind of brush tool there, aren't you? Yes, so what that's what I was saying. This brush is actually a blending brush. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Gotcha. And um, all right. well hold on, I'll be right back. I want you to right. tell me more, right. but I, I gotta get my coffee. Okay. Here we go. We gotta drop this gun barrel. Let's see what we got in chat. Read that. He's too much of a spark for YouTube. Manticore, you could have probably ended that sentence at Spurg. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are too quick. Too fucking quick, man. <clears throat> I'm surprised that you guys are uh, don't stream yourselves, you know? I'm sorry if you hear that. That's me digging around for um, some uh, crackers right now. Rice crackers. The wasabi flavor. <clears throat> so Mantagor's gonna start streaming. That's gonna be interesting. I hope, I hope, I wish you all the best. You know, I'll be there. I'll be there, Mantagor.
So we're going to bring this weapon down some. And put it right in the middle or underneath the eye. All right, here we go. Now, you were saying you use this uh, blending tool. Yeah, I, it's, I've downloaded it from Clip Studio's uh, program thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And it's uh, Jap some Japanese guy made it. And he, so I read it and he said, I'm a lazy fuck and I don't like to switch um, between a paintbrush and a blending brush and then back to a paintbrush and all this other shit. So he made a brush that does it all in one. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And then he said, um, <clears throat> if you can get used to it, you, you know, it, it's pretty good. Pretty cool. Look what I can do. And yeah. He did yeah. That. So is that not, that's very like Sumi style. Wouldn't you say? I, I don't I don't know what that is, um, Doc. I'm not I don't like know the terms. Japanese painting is called sumi. I I wouldn't know. Um I mean I even though I live in Japan, I don't know the art terms or anything. I got here. you. I got you. Yeah. But <clears throat> here, I'll show you an example since you got my screen on. All right. I will show you Maybe Dario has seen this before, if he's still watching. So, when I had my spine crush, right, I had to get get it re rebuilt, but I was left with a permanent nerve you, damage. Wait, wait, you got a rebuilt spine? <laughs> yeah, next. Is like, that to, like a rebuilt transmission? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I went to Korea, and uh -huh. I had two discs replaced and uh they cut three of those vertebras in half and okay. attached uh these metal pieces to it that go on rails right so now i have a yeah pretty much a robot neck nice that, that um i'm all right you know move yeah. move fine i mean i lost a couple of centimeters looking down a couple of centimeters looking up mm -hmm. And uh, I can see more to my left than I can see to my right. Okay. But at least I'm not paralyzed, you know? Yeah, no shit. No shit. <laughs> and uh, so I found out the Koreans have um, more advanced medical technology. Ne uh, is it called neurology? Yeah. Uh, spine. And, yeah. yeah. They're way advanced than even America. They're mm -hmm. like ranked number three in the world. Okay. And. And at that time, um, yeah, at that time, <clears throat> I was supposed to, uh, if I if I stuck it stuck with it in Japan, I would have been paralyzed, you know. Yeah. But I found yeah. out all this shit. Went over to Korea with my life savings, bought me a new neck, and That's a good uh, investment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was uh, I was I scared. Find, I find my neck to be rather useful. <laughs> so I rebuilt that and now so when I did digital I found out that I had a very hard time drawing like I used to mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you a page from uh, before and I'll show you what I mean okay. <laughs> here you go so in order to compensate, I was like, I wait, need wait, to do something. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming okay. up. So All right. it, I'm just, while we're waiting, I'm just telling you that I needed to find it a new, find a new way to um, draw. Right. Um, and I went with this way that I'm doing now. Okay. So here, I'll show you. So this, All right. if you zoom in, this is after the surgery. With the nerve uh -huh. damage, see all how it's uh -huh. all these little tiny, uh, messy little scratches. I right. I don't have the feelings in some of my fingers and parts of my hand, parts of my arm. It's just uh -huh. gone. It's okay. never coming back. 
So I lost a lot of fine motor control. Is that mm -hmm. what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. So my hand doesn't shake. It's just like, um, you know, when your feet falls asleep and you're yep. walking around on, on it, yep. Yep. you pretty much don't even know if you're walking on your ankle. That's yep. the way it is. I got you. Draw on. Okay. So this was a pain in the ass. And I thought, I'm like, there's no way I can keep you doing this, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had to find a new way. Yeah. So the new way is this, you know, from this blob I put down, right? You, sh you shape it. Yep. I basically just shape the face out of that. That's a uh, cut it out. and. That's yeah. actually it. There's a painter technique. And I use it. Um, and I teach my students when you're painting, it's like sculpting. You put it there, you take it away. You put it there, you right. take it away. You know, you build it, you subtract, you know. So, yeah, there's a. Right. So when I saw that brush, <clears throat> I knew, you know, that I might be able to do that. And here I am. Very you know, cool. It... Well, I'm, well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I don't, if I lost my ability to do art, I'd lose my mind because it has kept me sane. Exactly. Exactly. I yeah. mean, it really, it really is. It's 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 a part of your soul, and if you lose it, man, it's just. Whew. And I didn't know. I took it for granted. I didn't know that I could do this. You know, like mm -hmm. I never thought about drawing as something that's uh, a part of me mm -hmm. until um until this you know mm -hmm. <clears throat> i realized that uh, oh you know i can i can do something most people can't mm -hmm. and um i i um i'm not highly religious you know but i do thank god for this sure. i think i'm blessed yeah sure absolutely yeah i'm a christian i uh, you know i thank god every day for the gift of being able to do this right this and, my and children for, yeah and, and for the blessing of uh being able to make a living doing art you know right see that that's i haven't entered that passed through that door yet but i'm i understand like mm -hmm. if, if i could do that I would, I would give it up, you know, another one to go to the big man, you know, thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah this definitely. One. So yeah. let's see I'm, here. I Chat. no shame in my game, man. I give, I give God all the glory for it. Yeah. I'm not going to take any of that, you know, I'm the, you know, th thank you. Thank you yeah. for that. And yeah. think about this too, man. This is one of the thoughts that goes through my head. God can give whoever he wants the talent, the ability, whatever. And he chose to give it to you, me, John, whoever, you know, that could have went anywhere, but he let me do it. So I'm really humbled by that. Uh, thank you. KSSS. Thank you for that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. yeah he I... says, enough with the mushy talk. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just get over it and just bring it up when it when it comes up. And other than that, it's nothing, you know. Just do what I got to do. But hopefully, um, I'm going to see this thing grow, you know? Like, of course. I'm see what's at the end of this row course all right now i need a bigger brush let's go back up to that 20. my old man uh he could uh <clears throat> do a lot of a lot of things you know? mm -hmm. One of them he, he could do. He was a grease monkey too. He could um take apart his car and put it back together. See, I think that's a talent so, too. Yeah. This asshole he did not 
teach me or my brother a goddamn thing about it. Oh, man. This guy, he could speak, I don't even know how many languages. He spoke um, German, Spanish, Cantonese. Oh, wow. Freaking, um, oh, man, it's crazy. And he never told us. Like, we we had to learn by seeing him all of a sudden talking to somebody in, in one of these languages. Right. <clears throat> and he didn't teach us shit. Like, he could speak Spanish. I took Spanish in high school. He could have fucking helped me <laughs> with my homework at any point. <laughs> yeah, he just didn't. Wow. Yeah. He was in a, I was a, I'm an army, army brat. Grew up on base, you know. And uh, when he got out of the army, we moved to Oakland. And he was type of guy he was, um, he didn't really um, care for, yeah, he didn't care about money or anything. He was a really easygoing guy. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Kesa says, Kirby is great with getting likenesses down fast. Short-haired Katy Perry aside, <laughs> I, I ran out of time to do these. Um, oh, well, Scrabble. To do it. Yeah, for Scrabble, for Katy Perry. So I I got her. And, I mean, to, to be um, fair, though, I mean, Scrabble is not really a test of your art skill. It's just how fast. Can oh, you it, no, no, it is. It, it is. I love, I love that speed. You have to. Yeah. I need to get faster. You know, to to do what I gotta do, because once once I can um when I do start they, pushing that. Let me ask you, Kirby. Do they do the uh, local colleges or art schools have uh, life model drawing sessions? You know, you go in and do I, speed speed drills. I don't know. I don't know. I never yeah. looked into it. You should um, find out, man. We do it at my art school. I teach at an art school, and we uh. We have, you know, classes like that just for students, but then we throw it open for artists. We have a life model come in, and uh, you get two minutes on each pose. To, to oh, get down. oh, the, yeah, yeah. Um, I traditional. Yeah. Again, it it feels it feels really weird doing traditional again. So I, I stay away you. from it. I hear you. I hear you. I get that. Yeah. <clears throat> Kirby drew the perfect Lazman and dark gift art. Yeah. I had time though, you know, so like I could whip that out. They, they go for like two hours of stream, three hours plus. Yeah. I had, I could whip that out. <clears throat> two minutes is, um, is the drill though. You know, mm -hmm. if you get if you get that down, it's gonna help so much. Yep. I would. So I, that's why I'm. I'm short. I can't even fucking say it. I can't even speak. Sort. 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 Sort of. <laughs> sort of <coughs> upset that um. Not more artists are flocking to um, do these things together, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This community is filled with fucking talent. What the fuck are they doing, you know? Yeah, there's a, I don't know, man. They, there's a weirdness where we do help each other, some yeah. of us. But then there are others that are just like, no, fuck you, I'm in this for me, you know? It's just strange to me. Like, <clears throat> yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. No, me either. I, you know, I'll help anybody with anything that I can. Yeah. That's not, that's not my personality. A lot of stuff is not my, within my personality that I see on the internet. I just don't understand it. Yeah. Yep. One thing I don't like is um, wasting time too. Like mm -hmm. um, 
if not working on your your book, right? <laughs> Doing your book, then spend time with your family, you know? And <laughs> spend it's fun, entertaining to to um I guess go at each other and stuff, you know. But I see it as a waste of time too. You know. Yep. It, but if if it if it's jokes, then it's fun. You know, it's funny. I right. can see that. You know, that's kind. Of, that's more value than just um, hate. <clears throat> Kirby or his ego. Um, ego is why Liam went after me. Laughing is violence. <laughs> yep. yep. Kirby, it's egos. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I think that's one thing with uh, writers I have found is that they have a um, really high narcissistic ego that they um, self-sabotage themselves. Now, and I've, um, now I'm seeing it in artists too, but um, it's kind of different. You know, mm. my, my experience, uh, Tree Goldman is mostly with uh, writers that are like that, their <clears throat> personality is uh, gets in their their way They're for the, themselves, and they blame others. I see. There are a lot of clicks in this community. I took it upon dog. Damn this husky! Get away! <laughs> Trying to steal a cracker. <laughs> it's it's wasabi flavored, so she's gonna be shitting herself all over. Go over there. <laughs> Go over there. Right, I'm I not dealing to, with no. I need to build another <laughs> layer, and then paint this foliage in the background. Not really my decor. Um, just in general. <laughs> Dame, Ike. Damn dog. <clears throat> Get out of here, fucker. <laughs> Sneaky bastard. That's the worst personality to have for a dog. Sneaky. <laughs> I would rather lazy <laughs> <laughs> than sneaky. <laughs> Evil. That's, that's cool, too. <laughs> <than sneaky. laughs> Don't make me laugh while yeah. I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> the, so there are a lot of clicks. <laughs> there are a lot of clicks in this community. Um, I took it upon myself to attempt to get to know each of the cliques, understand them, and hopefully integrate myself in each group. Yeah, <clears throat> I want I want to have a, um, a relationship with everyone because I see I see the talent, whether you're a writer or artist or just music or creative or 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 uh, humorous too. You know, yeah, I like it. I want to surround myself with. Uh, these types. <clears throat> Let's see. Seventy percent of writers are narcissists. That's what I've pretty much found out. <laughs> there's a yeah. There's doing a, doing indie oh, comics. They're certainly prima donnas. <laughs> they certainly are. All right. Need to drop this brush as. Like the best type of people are are people who I I found the most e not best type the most easygoing people are the artists that write too. They do both. Uh, I've usually f found hey, that that's they me. are more. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm one of those. <laughs> Easy to hang around with. <laughs> then when you go into the, they only do one writing or. Or art, it's it's like Tree Goblin says: seventy percent of them are narcissists, and then thirty percent are the are the artists are narcissists. Uh, writers, narcissists, never. <laughs> My <Michael. laughs> All right, so. We got a. 
top down view. I'm going to cut this collarbone into the jaw. Yeah. I want to turn his chest to the side. Throw his shoulder in and front. Pull the shoulder back. All right, I don't get how this is supposed to be a flat brush. Oh, it's not. Like my primary brush I paint with in real life is called a bright. So it's like a short, bristled, flat brush. And I use a one inch. I think it's a number 14 or 16. I forget which. But that's my go-to, you know. For almost uh -huh. everything I paint. Let me see if I can. How can I get this to you? What are we doing? What happened? All I need to do is give you the name of this brush. And then when you open Clip Studio, you get like a. Um, it doesn't open up to this uh, this uh, canvas. It opens up uh, a program, right? Yeah, first. I mean, if it, yeah, if you open Clip first, yeah. yes. Okay, so when that happens, you go to on the left hand side. You go down to Clip Studio Assets. Yes. And you click that, and then uh -huh. in the search bar, all you need to do is um, Control copy in and paste this Japanese uh, name of this brush in there and you can uh, download this very same okay. brush. Are you on Twitter? But, um, I am. I am. Uh, and be careful. If your account is um, if you want your if your account is your like business account and you don't want to be associated with <laughs> shit, don't follow me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll, I'll follow you. Uh, I was gonna say, just uh, can you uh, can you follow me over there? It's doc at doc Blaylock eighty four oh four, doc, and uh, PM that to me, DM that to me, whatever the hell it's called, DM DMs whatever, eighty four oh four. Okay. Delta Oscar Charlie Bravo Lima Alpha right. Lima Oscar Charlie Kilo eight four zero four. All right, I see you. I'm following you. All right. Cool. And then I'll. Here, let me. I'm gonna let me try jump to over. find this brush. I'll jump over there and follow you back, so our PMs will be open. Okay. Let's see. How can I do this? Is Haji Higaman? Yeah, that's me. Okay. All right. Go. Cool. Thank you. And then I am going to set you this. Okay, Boomer. LOL on that note. I'm out, gentlemen. Hell the chat. All right, Manticore. Good night, man. Manticore, yeah. when are you when are you streaming, man? Tell people. You can't go, oh, I'm gonna do live streams and then not tell people where you're gonna be and when you're gonna be there. Or sub two. Yes, top. <clears throat> Close this down. Let's find this and see if I can drop this to you. I don't know what to do with this file, though. You're going to have to ask Dither how to plug it in. Well, I know how to import them. I can do that. Okay. Let's see, can this please choose one photo or GIF? Okay, I can't do that through DMs. 
All right. Anyways, I put the name. I sent you the name of the brush. This is more fun to... than it should be, Kirby. Oh yeah, uh, <clears throat> painting is uh, awesome. Like, I want to do it, but it's time. The time it's time consuming. You know, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, I even I'm so this. used to it, bro. Man, I can. I used to do two, maybe three paintings a day at sixteen by twenty. Yeah. Uh, and when I'm out plein air painting. There's even more because you're racing the clock the whole time. You're, you're, you know, you're fighting the light. Always. Yeah, yeah. Like Monet taught us, you pick a leaf on a tree. When the light on that leaf changes, you're done. Move on to the next painting. So you whip out another canvas, same scene. You're just going to paint it in different light now. Because yeah, painting is addicting. The subject, uh, I, the subject matter is always, for me, the light, not what's in the painting. It's the effect of light on whatever it is. I painted this, this one, <clears throat> and I was just like, I got, I got to stop. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. There we go. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Now, is this the dude you're drawing right now? Yeah, that's okay. the character, <clears throat> and, and that, I, I and that damn mustache had, of his. <laughs> I had fun. I was putting in mm -hmm. the the veins, and then I was gonna go in and run that rough brush over the skin to make the the skin. But I was like, you know what? I gotta stop this. Yeah, and uh, get back to work. I hear you. That's how I kind of feel about what I'm doing right now. But I'm having a ball doing this. It doesn't feel like painting. It feels more like charcoal sketching. Oh that's, yeah, yeah. That's okay though, because yeah. I do I do a lot of charcoal sketching when I'm painting. Like if I'm in the studio and I want to do a composition, you know, I'll go charcoal first because you just paint right over the charcoal. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go refill my coffee, sir. Okay. This is just right. one of, one of those streams. Maybe we're just hanging out. Doing what we do, boys and girls. Let me, <laughs> let me back out of here and look at this. See how it's looking. Looks good. Yeah, it's getting there. A lot of work to do. That's always one of the things you can't do. You can't hyper focus on an area. You have to back out. Yeah. All right. I'll be right back. All right. Where's my mute button? There it is. Let's see. You got a lot to say, Manticore. You think with all the words he had to say, he would have mentioned that. Sunday at this stage, maybe tonight. <clears throat> all right. Good night, man. Timothy also. What are you doing, Timothy? Right now. So let me put this in here. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. This may be the most uncomfortable chair I've ever owned in my life. 
<laughs> and there's a story I've told it many times. When I sold my counseling practice, I sold the furniture, the files, the caseload, everything. I just kept a few things. And one of them was this chair. And it was my secretary's chair. And she used to complain about it all the time. And I just thought she was BSing. It's like, you're fine. <laughs> I'm not going to buy you a new chair. Get out of here. Fuck, did I ever owe her an apology? <laughs> Sorry, Kara. Holy shit. <laughs> I, was, I was wrong. You were right. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. God damn. Let's go back up to the big brush here. Uh, I'm stuck somewhere here. Maybe you're gonna pull the gun down even further. I don't even know. Let's just keep seeing. <laughs> right there. What happened? I was just thinking about the your secretary. Bless Fucking her chair. <laughs> she hated this chair. And now I know what. And then now, uh, you have now, to sit in it. No, now I get it. I'm so sorry. They poured it. She used to bring in a big old pillow from her house to sit on. I thought she was being theatric. I was wrong. <clears throat> okay, let's undo that. No, I'm confused. Break this barrel out. I do not have an innate understanding of how, I should say it's not instinctive for me to figure out how the layers work on clip yet. It'll get there, but. What do you mean? They're just on top of each other, right? Yeah. What, what are you like, thinking there? But like, look Maybe at my screen. Not. Look at my screen. Uh-huh. Let me zoom in a little bit here. All right, so that line goes right through that tree, right? Yeah. Undo that. Now I'm on the layer that's supposed to be the foliage in the background, and the line still goes through the tree. Wow. Oh, okay. Up top is um, closest to us. Down below, as you go down, is further away from us. You, you understand? No. So on the list. No, I mean, I mean, I understand that. I just don't understand uh -huh. it in the in the sense of how it's operating. Like if I'm not working on that layer, then uh -huh. nothing I do on this layer should impact that layer. Yeah. And I know that it doesn't, but it appears to. Oh. No big oh, game. so certain brushes <clears throat> will will automatically blend to the lower layer beneath oh. it. Well, we don't want that. Yeah, <laughs> certain brushes will do that, especially paint brushes. Now that I think about it, that you're using, let me well, see. I'd just be hog squabbled. 
Let me see. Uh, what 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 are you on? Uh, oil. All right. Yeah, the oil paintbrush. What is the option? There's got to be a wrench. I mean, I know that the layer I'm not working on is intact. It's fine. Nothing I do here will affect it. It's just that it shows up on the screen that way. You know what I'm saying? Okay. There's a way to turn that off. Oh, man, where's Dillard? <laughs> <laughs> Where did he go? He, he's probably busy. Or He's got a headache, too. He might have fell asleep. He might have fell out, yeah. That's good. That's good. He's got a headache anyway. What was that crack he made about me? He's off emptying his bowels. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fucker. Let's erase some of this. <laughs> Wait, what layer am I on? Whoops. That's the layer I want to be on. Now. What would it be like this? He's off emptying his bowels. I think I am going to be better off if I merge these layers and just work like I would normally work. Because when I paint, there's this thing is screwing up. You just keep working till you get it right. Did you hear any word for, um, from Carol? How the show going? Or... <laughs> yes, I heard from her. Her car broke down on the way there. Oh, no. Right. And we were telling her, don't go, don't go. Yeah, poor girl. She's had more. Look, she kills cars, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> that show did not sound like it was worth it. No, I wouldn't have gone. Those kind of reviews, I mean, fuck this guy, man. I'm not going to that. All right, I'm totally going to merge these layers. All right, now what is this? Check, so empty. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go fucking grab a broomstick <laughs> try to take a picture. <laughs> and do what with it? Pose like this. 
<laughs> oh, I got you. Take a reference photo. Yeah, I was just like, what? okay, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> All right, fingers go like this. <laughs> I already caught myself a couple times. Uh, would have been bad if I did. <clears throat> so the gun is supposed to taper, and I, I drew it straight on uh -huh. instead of uh, having it taper back. Right. So it happens. That's what control Z is like... for. <laughs> Control Z all day, baby. Let's go ahead and just fix this guy's hairline. <laughs> Tired of it looking at me. <laughs> Little monkeys. Kicked all the blankets everywhere. <laughs> yo, 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 homie, yo. Welcome, Welcome back. back. What a nightmare today has already been, and it's already over. What happened? <laughs> the day started off as a nightmare, and the day's already over. Would you care to elaborate? Oh, nothing but problems. Kids all sick, doubled over in pain, saying, I know she's saying she's doubled over in pain, but she's like, basically, uh, my stomach hurts, but you're paying at a 10. Mm. No tears, no nothing, you know. Uh, that looks gorgeous. It well, does. Thank you. It's looking like something. It's looking like a book that I would back. <laughs> well, thank you ever so much. What? I'll just paint the whole fucking book. How about that? <laughs> This is the, it's fun to do, but it's less like painting and more like drawing with charcoal. Right, right. right. So what are you going to do for the baby? Oh, I don't know. Nothing? I took her, she doesn't even, her temperature is like 99, right? Uh -huh. um, not bad at all. I press on her stomach, she, she doesn't flinch or nothing. She's just saying, oh, I got a tummy ache. I say, okay, well, does it feel like you got to go poo? No. Does it feel like like when you smashed your fingers, does it feel like that? Like that kind of pain? No. What does it feel like? I don't know. Yeah, you knew that was coming. I don't know. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried my darndest to not ask that question, right? I, don't, I try not to ask open-ended questions. Yes, because I don't know. <laughs> Is always the answer. Yeah. Is, it, is this the big one or the little one? The big one. Okay, okay. The little one is the one that doesn't want to go poop, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll just think it like. She's just a scared of the toilet for no reason. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she needs to just go poop and just doesn't want to go if it was a little one, but it's the big one. So. Stop I think the problem was that we did send her to school when she was sick. Yeah. Um, not because we, wa I actually wanted to keep her out of school, but she was like, oh, tomorrow is the day of awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was, you know, they had a big old oh, fungus, yeah. one acres of jumpers and trampolines and DJs. We went over and we watched it. Me and my wife watched it from across the street. Yeah, and it was. Yeah. It looked really. There was little kids up there doing karaoke. And, oh man, it was, <laughs> it was awesome. They were having a ball. So, I took my kids to the a trampoline place one time, and the little one uh, jumped all day. Fucking at the end of the day, start throwing up all over the place. Oh my you know? god! And it was from the the trauma from the just bouncing on 
on that fucking trampoline. That's that's what I think. You know, the brain ah. just moving around. You get nauseous. <clears throat> so she might have like a bruise. You know, like it's not really bruise. You know, brain might. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. It takes a while to settle down. I used to be the primary caregiver for my father in his last few years. So I still know how to use uh, you know, the equipment that we have. Okay. And I was checking her blood pressure and yada, yada, yada. And, she, and I had her sit up and stand up. And she's, she's, she's fine. Yeah. She's but, uh, just, just a little, little squeamish to me. Maybe some Atlanta. Yeah, we gave her some of that. She uh, threw it up. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. So, giving her some time. To see if we can get some yogurt down her. Well, may I make a suggestion, John? Sure. Based on medical experience. If she's throwing up the Mylanta, you want to give her, put her on clear liquids for 24 hours. So, if you can't see through it, don't give it to her. Yeah. Because that'll make her throw up. So, no yogurt. Um, Jello, apple juice. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, we'll see. The, the problem is that uh, when she gets like this, mm -hmm. she throws up everything. Yeah. So it's like, I, I want to make sure that it's, uh, you know, her actually being sick and not the whole, you know, bleh, you know, retching because, uh, because it's, she don't like coming. something. Yeah. Yep. Yep. How old is she? Five. Okay. Yeah, that's entirely possible. But I would just say if there is real, you know, vomiting and whatever, just the go-to is always, bam, clear liquids. Right, because I, 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 I went in. I wasn't there for the vomiting. Right? I went in, and my wife's like, well, she threw it up. And I was like, and I was like, did you clean it? I was, like, I was like, well, I looked around. I was like, where's it at, right? She's like, oh, I cleaned it up. And there was like a paper towel. Uh, and I was like, I was like, now, is that really throw up? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> or did she just take what you gave her and go Bleh! and then spit it back out, you know? Right. Exactly. exactly. You no, know, she threw it up. I'm like, okay, I guess. If you say so, honey. Man, this is looking great. You know what this looks like? This looks like you like comics. <laughs> I love art. And more than comics, I just love storytelling, dude. That's my draw to it. Like, I got stories I want to tell. So I do the best I can. Oh, the sound of rolling dice is like music in the air. What is that from? Gambling boogeyman, although I don't play fair. What is that from? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The that's Oogie that, Boogie song. Yeah, that set off all my nostalgia, and I'm like, what the hell is that? I know this. So now what you got to do, Doc? Take what you've done already on that side and just copy and paste it to the, the other side of the panel. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I've come this far, and I'm challenging myself to see how fast I can do this. Like a real, you, know. <laughs> you didn't mean that, Dylan, did you? Hundred percent, I mean that. No way, <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> no, I've seen John do it. Like it, that underwater thing he was doing. Uh -huh. was, uh, okay. I got these coral plants, so I'll create a layer, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. <laughs> no, no fucking way. You were, you were serious, man. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and look, I would agree, like, if it's something inorganic, definitely uh -huh. duplicate them because they're hard to get right the first time. But organic shapes are easy, man. You just, you just keep working. They are, unless they're intricate organic shapes. And then it's like, well, I could do four or five of them, and I could just duplicate those over and over again. True. But it, again, it's not that they're hard to do. At least for me, they're not hard to do. They can get tedious. 
Oh, well, yeah. All right. Let's have some more hard shit <laughs> here. <laughs> God. Kirby didn't know that I'm a professional hack. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> I thought the opposite, if anything, you would say. No, well, I'm a I'm a fan of making it look right, and uh, uh -huh. a lot of times when you're doing this stuff in comics, like you have to recreate entire worlds on every single yeah. panel. Yep. Yeah. So it's either you do it that way, or you do it like the way Doc's doing it, right? You do like you know, you do a little fudging. Like uh, obviously, Doc's not drawing uh, four hundred thousand leaves, right? Make, given the appearance that there's leaves back there. The illusion of detail. Yeah. And I'll do that. I'll draw a bunch. I'll draw a leaf a leaf set, a bunch, and then I'll duplicate it a couple of times, make it look like a fuller bush. And then I'll go back after I do that, because you know, when you're an artist, you look at stuff and say, That looks duplicated. You go back, erase some stuff, change some things around to make it look like it's exactly organic. Yeah. yeah. Do it and you keep doing it and you keep doing it until it looks right to you. The the other right. illusion is randomness. You're creating the illusion of random. Yeah. And that's actually a hard thing to teach students the, to, to be random. Like when we're doing cloud paintings, I'm teaching them how to do clouds. They want to keep doing the same shapes over, you know, that one looked good. So I'll do it again. No, mm -hmm. don't do that. So the way I get them out of that is when, once they've got the, you know, the, the uh, muscle memory in, put a blindfold on them, stick your arm out, paint. And just you know, wherever. Which is what I was talking about earlier when I said the one thing I can't teach people is how to be unsatisfied with their with their with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Like just sta sit back, look at it. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Are you really happy with that? Because I'm not happy with what you're doing. You know. So are you happy with that? Really? Yeah. The uh, I call it I call it my my uh, my worry chair. So there's a mm -hmm. chair in my studio behind me. I've got clean clothes on it. I don't need to fold, but. That's where I would sit and just stare at paintings, let them bother me. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you stare at it, let it bother you, and then and then go work on it some more. And then, you know, you got to do it because I I get frustrated easy, right? Because immediately in my head, I'm thinking, "There's these, there are the people, right? They're like, it's, you're you're never going to be satisfied with it because you know all those mistakes." And like, no, you, you have to be a little bit more responsible than that. You have to be an adult about it. You have to be able to see what's wrong and then be okay with saying, I'm, I'm done with this anyway. Mm. Not just be satisfied with what you did. Just say, I'm okay with it going out as it is because I'm, you know, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not perfect, I'm letting it loose. I'm, I'm giving it air. I'm giving it wings, you know, let it fly. Yep. Send it out there into the world. It doesn't mean sit there and be like, oh, I got to fix everything that's wrong with it. You'll never be done with anything ever. Nope. Exactly right. Be a little adult about it. Just say, you know what? I'm just gonna. It I know what what's wrong is. with it. I know it's not right, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah. The the uh, yesterday we were talking about that. It's it's you can't let perfection be the enemy of good enough. But at the same time, do the best you can. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy with this area at all. So. Let's darken that. More line. <laughs> yeah. There's a painter I follow, Turner Vincent. He'll say, uh, I'll do this for variety, variety for variety's sake. Yep. And that means line weight, color, texture, whatever it is. Oh, brother, you're something. You put me in a spin. You aren't comprehending the position that you're in. <laughs> why, why are you singing uh, Night Before, Before Christmas? So I was playing. I don't know. I was taking a shower right now, and I was singing it in the shower. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because my naked body looks like Oogie Boogie. What? Don't say it. Oh, fuck, man. 
the brain goes <laughs> to weird places when we're showering or driving or doing something mindless. Yeah, like drawing. My yeah, brain yeah, always yeah. does that. <clears throat> oh, I don't like it. Or I like having company or my kids around. Bothering me. Damn it, I poured a <laughs> cup of coffee and let it go cold. I'll be right back. Damn it. All right. I hate it when I do that. No, that was one of those movies that really sparked my imagination, Kirby. Like when I was little, I saw that when uh -huh. I was little. We saw it in theaters too. I remember driving all the way to San Bernardino to go see it. Let me go look at what year that came out. I must have been little. Let's see. It is a badass one. Yeah, 1993. I was eight years old. Saw that in theaters. I was like, wow, this is amazing, fantastic. But there were so many things around that, you know, around that age period between like six and, and 12. Uh -huh. those, those formative years that really influence almost the rest of your whole life. Yeah. You gotta be careful the kind of media you take in at that age. Makes me wonder exactly how much you can nurture a personality. I think a lot. This is awful. I keep trying to scroll right on Doc's drawing. <laughs> okay, um, you know, lock. Oh, what's this? Billy Power Max Hell, Doc Hell. What's up, Billy? Tree Goldman says, Hey, Billy. <clears throat> what was it? I think it was in Europe or England, right? They had a uh, study showing that all these kids. Uh, identified as this or what <clears throat> right and then uh -huh. um, when the lockdowns happen that number dropped drastically <laughs> so I'm thinking like because they weren't going to school they were staying yeah. in, at the house so I'm thinking like what you were talking about I think the human mind is very malleable Especially among, among the, the the young, you know? Yeah. I have returned. Sounds like Doc just kind of bulldozed his way through a china shop to get back to his chair. <laughs> this mic must be too sensitive. All I'll do is pull the chair out and sit down. I wonder what must have been happening when I was eight years old that I, I remember so many things from the same year as being very, 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 I guess, influential on me. Life was, was good. What year was that? 1993. I you were eight. What do you eight. remember from uh, being eight? It's like all of my childhood memories are from 1993. Life must have been really swell then, no? It was popping. Yeah. I have all the memories from that time period. Yeah, the movie came out in 1993 that I really love. Hocus Pocus. Uh... Mrs. Doubtfire, oh, was that Jurassic the witch one? Park. Yeah. Change the little boy into a witch. I mean, not into a mouse. Cat. That... Yeah. You know what else came out in 93? Schindler's List. Mm -hmm. Tombstone. Great year for movies. The Sandlot. That was one of my son's favorite movies. Yeah, I loved it. Demolition Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love that one. The Secret Garden. I love that movie, The Secret Garden. 
I don't know that I've ever seen that. I don't. I don't remember. Is that the serial killer one? No, no, no. A f- fa- fantastical movie about a little girl who's a servant to some sickly rich boy who's a snob. And she gets him out of the house and out of his room and into the garden. Mm. DuckTales the movie. Fox and the Hound. Oh, DuckTales the movie. I remember the, taking my brothers to see that. Fox and the Hound didn't no. come out in 93, did it? I'm looking at that right now. I'm typing it in right now because I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, I think that's older than that. By good the bit. sound of DuckTales in the movie, it just being in that big theater, made made that cartoon so much bigger. Oh, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, 1993. The Three Musketeers, 1993. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, 1993. No, that can't be right. Oh, Trail Mix, Roger Rabbit, Trail Mix. Ah, Cool Runnings with John Candy. Oh. John Candy, to who Chris Farley owes everything because he's ripped him off about a bazillion times. Name one way. That's going to leave a mark. What was that in? John Candy did it in Spaceballs, and then Chris Farley did it like several times in skits. He'd injure himself and go, that's going to leave a mark. That's John Candy, fucker. But that's going to leave a mark as a, as a popular idiom. You can't own an idiom. Or a saying. You, you, you can if you were the first one to make it popular. I freaking love John Candy, though, man. That dude was hysterical. Uncle Buck, great movie. All right. Let's roll this back and take a look. And we need more dark on this side. I should look away. Yeah, I was I wasn't actually on the screen when he pulled back. I didn't I didn't get to see it. Oh. Huh. Needs more dark over on the right. Oh yeah, this is great. This is uh this is a fucking <clears throat> Bernie Wrights and shit right here. What do you think about this, Kirby? What's up? <clears throat> what do you think about what Doc's doing? Looks badass. He's in his element, looks like. Before he was uh, <clears throat> scooting around the, the, the 
I don't know what it is. What are you using, Doc? G pen? No, this is uh, the oil paint brush. No, no, he was, using, before. He was using a mapping pen. Oh, yeah, mapping, mapping pen. pen yeah. yeah. Well, they just go with the paint style. Well, That's what I think. I'm going to be honest right here. This is the best panel I've ever seen Doc do in any of his comics. <laughs> God damn it. Dude. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I can't take a compliment. I tell you what. I've been, uh, <laughs> I've only been back doing comic books for a, basically a year's worth of work. I've been doing fine art all my life. So it is more natural. That's, yeah, I can I think, tell. I think Doc thinks that I don't know that. <laughs> Big time on his show, Doc. he tells me that the same thing. No, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, Dillard. I can tell you, you you're just flying through that. <sighs> oh. well, because it's easy. Yeah. Drawing a fucking car is drafting. Drafting is hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's back this, up. this is the way to go for you, dog. Just paint everything. Look at that. Look at that could be a double splash page. All right. But my question, John, seriously, is uh I want to put in those motion lines behind the car. Uh-huh. So go back to should I do it on this layer? Just pick up the white mapping pin and come off the back with them. I would say stay in your oil, uh, whatever. Grab some white and do it with your oil paint brush. Well, it's it's not doing that. I picked up white a minute ago, and it's wanting to treat it like it's wet oil, so it's blending things to gray. Ah. Okay. And I don't know how to change that setting, so. Uh, maybe gouache. Try the gouache brush. It dries almost. Oh, there's thick oil paint. There's pointillism. Wash blender, paint, and apply. Interesting. Dry gouache, gouache. Let's try gouache. Pick up white. Let's see what it does. Nope, it's still. See that? It hit, it it with a, hit it with a harder uh, pressure sensitivity. Push harder. Oh, I see. Right, let me back out of that and drop this brush size from 80. How the hell did it get up to 80? Good Lord, Doc. I never, I haven't been on 80, I swear to God. <laughs> we'll go to 10. Yeah, there we go. Put in some highlights. <laughs> yes, I didn't get no sleep. I was just drawing with you guys. And when uh, Dylan left, I just fucking crashed. <laughs> no. yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was driving all day, and uh, my oldest daughter fell asleep with my youngest daughter ne next to her. And then I hear her, I hear her say, Daddy. I was like, what? What, baby? <laughs> and she said, <laughs> Hannah looks stupid. <laughs> I was like, what? Don't say that. You know? <laughs> Don't say that, my sister. Uh, look over, and my old oldest is falling asleep. She's got her mouth open and she's like, <laughs> like snoring. You're right, honey. She looks stupid. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that's okay. She looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. My daughter asked me if she could. Say a grocery, which is like a cuss, a cuss word, because okay. she needed to tell me about, because she's sick today, right? We were, we were bringing oh. the TV into her bedroom so that she could have TV. She's like, I need to talk to you about something, but I need to say a grocery. Oh. And I, was like, I was like, okay, go ahead. And she was like, won't putting the TV in my room make me D-U-M? Oh. And I was like, oh. <laughs> And I was like, well, normally, yes, but no, you're sick and you can't be outside and you can't play and that's not going to be fun. So in order for you to have some kind of fun, we're going to let you have the TV today. And she's like, okay. And I was like, also, it's spelled D-U-M-B. <laughs> <laughs> Their kids are priceless, man. <laughs> Just 
priceless. Let's bring, oh, let's bring this right hand side up a little bit. <laughs> Must have. <balance>. So you don't. <laughs> so your kids can't say dumb. No. Oh man. I mean, they can if they're willing to take the the heat for it, which is. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you tell them not. Oh okay. Yeah, you they're not allowed. Not they're, they're not allowed. Yeah. Wow. You kids must be less, super behaved. Less good parenting. I don't care who you are. That's good parenting. Well, I let my kids say say all the cuss words, but they don't just. But they don't say it. They say stupid. What else they say? That's all I heard them say. I'm sure that they. I'm sure they'll, they'll eventually they'll get to saying all the craziness they want to when uh -huh. they're hanging out with their friends or whatever. Right. When they grow up and break your heart. Yeah. <laughs> My youngest son's last words to me before Christmas were, fuck you. What? Yeah. What? He was having a meltdown because he, uh, he thought he could just raise his voice to me and talk to me in the old kind of way. And I told him, I said, son, we're not peers. Okay. I'm your father. You don't talk to me like you talk to your peers. And he said, oh, that parental respect thing is childish. I'm like, are you sure that's even a sentence you want to say? Think about what you just said. And blah, blah, How blah. old is he? He's 32. And uh, I just told him, I said, uh, he said, you treat me like a petulant child. I said, you are a petulant child. Fuck you. Click. Oh, man. All right. If that's where you want to leave it, that's where we leave it. Hopefully you'll grow up here pretty soon and pull your head out of your ass and rethink yourself. <sighs> In the meantime, it's like I always tell them, doors always open. Come see me. I said, catch me outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, he, he's got this adversarial thing in him, fellas, where it's, uh, what did he say? He was saying something. He was snarky and I was being rude. And I said, son, I don't let people talk to me that way, just so you know. And that's me putting down a boundary. Instead, he takes it as, what, are you trying to intimidate me? What are you even talking about right now, son? We're on the phone. Like it's some kind of pissing, pushing contest. Like, are you doing roids right now? I mean, is that what's going on with you? <laughs> All right. Okay. Damn, I can't... S I can probably show this. Um... I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put you up on the screen right now, brother. This cycle. <clears throat> um, I can do what Dylan said. I just, I think that's just an animation thing, right? That you get to show the in betweens. Yeah, transition panels can be a little, a little tricky. All right, let's uh, pull that transparency back up. Yeah, doing a, a gunplay in comics is very difficult. I remember I had some guy that wanted to commission me to do uh, the first five pages of his book so that he could put it up on Indiegogo and see if it makes a lot of money or whatever. And he was like, he was trying to describe to me and he was like sending me clips from like, you know, all these uh, gun, gun fu movies. Uh -huh. I was like, I mean, I, I can show you what you're talking about. It's just not going to work because you need that motion. If, you, if you're trying to tell yeah. this story and you're trying to be this tight with the choreography, your book's going to be, you know, 40 pages long. and That's going to be the opening act, you know? 
That's a good thing. Well, no, this is comics, right? Yeah. Western comics. Page counters. All right. So I think I'm going to get that. I'm just going to use the line tool and blur the end of the line. Hey, Apex, what's up, buddy? Billy Power Max, good to see you. Kung Fu. <laughs> Let's see. I was practicing with the, what is it, the Mongolians <clears throat> that one day. You know what you should do instead, instead of trying to do this uh, comic book stuff, Doc? Mm. You should do it like a painter and just get rid of those lines and just draw some leaves coming up behind the car. You know how to draw leaves. You're good at that stuff. I do, but the panel is really small, John. I don't think it'll translate. But yeah, I could just leave the motion lines. I've got the grass leaning. And I'll, uh, yeah, I could throw in a couple of leaves, I guess. I can make that grass taller and whiter and leaning more. Make them too. big. Make, make them like avocado or, uh, you know, maple leaf, a big old leaf. You know? Yeah, I will do that. I will do that. That's a good idea. I can actually have some floating up toward the camera. Mm hmm. I just went and got coffee, and I'm not going to let this get cold, so I'm going to drink some while Kirby draws. Gross. <laughs> Why is it gross? Yeah, okay. this is that one day that I was practicing the transition with the Mongolians. Mm -hmm. Kirby, I it's love this. your style, man. Oh, thank you. I gotta, I gotta nail this. I gotta make this. <laughs> Let me you see. Can, you can make it. So I'm gonna be working on this for a while, though. You do, you do characters in motion very well, Kirby. Oh, thank you. Those good dynamic poses. Love that. Hey, Apex. <clears throat> nice car, he says. Oh, thank you. Let's make his eyes bulge out. Why I think about the other shit. <laughs> How am I going to do this? Shouldn't he be grimacing also? You want that kind of... Yeah. So this is my new diet technique, apparently. So a spoonful of peanut butter for breakfast and then draw stream for hours and hours and hours and don't eat lunch and then just have a normal dinner. <laughs> that that kind of works. Make sure you get your micronutrition in <laughs> or your system's going to shut down. Yeah, my system's shutting down anyway, Kirby. I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you want to no, make it go down slower. No, I don't. <laughs> He's told you. Out. I told you. I wake <laughs> up and I go, oh, fuck, not this again. <laughs> you want to be out? Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> fuck this place. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> I just throw in a multivitamin. Say, I know what you mean, Doc. I forget to. Uh, I say, if my ailment you. can't be cured with drinking more water and just getting more exercise, then I'm probably not going to live through it anyway. That's exactly <laughs> right, John Dillard. That's how I feel about it, too. <laughs> That's horrible, man. <laughs>
gotta be careful. <clears throat> More lines I had add to his face. The further I get away from the enemy. <laughs> and his eyes. Let's maintain that. Why does this guy look exactly like you? Me? Yeah. This doesn't look like me. I look nothing like this. I got these other goons here too. I can't wait. I'll show you. I like. I like this guy. I've been practicing. Look at this. That was like one of my mobsters. The top left. One. Yeah. Look at this. I like him. Yep. Yeah. Another like goon, your, right? I like your style, Kirby. I like it. He reminds me of Himoto Gamma from Ninja Scroll. <laughs> I like his Mo Mongolian face, yeah. <laughs> this is the other guy. That He's got Raisi? the. Um... That's Raisi Lee. <laughs> <laughs> He's from, uh, uh, what's it? What's it called? Uh, Industrial World, right? The Industrial Revolution around that time. Mm -hmm. And he he Victoria. got shot, yeah. He got shot through his cheek, exit of the back of his head right here. Okay. So they um, <clears throat> he wears a porcelain mask that looks like uh, makes his face normal. Mm -hmm. He gets knocked off and stuff. Well, Dude, that was one of the coolest things I ever saw in that movie, uh, Skyfall, uh -huh. when uh, Javier Bardem. Uh, Takes off his his uh, oh, retainer yeah. inside of his mouth. That I guess when he had taken that uh, cyanide capsule that didn't work, and he just ate his face all up. And he's when he took it out, his whole face just dropped, looked like a crazy old monster. I was like, oh man, that's like amazing, that's dope. Yeah, I was like, this guy he, because the whole movie you're like, this guy doesn't really feel like a James Bond villain, and then he does that, you're like, oh my god, it's perfect. Yeah, looks awesome. I like this guy. That's that's the guy with the mask or oh, or the porcelain part of his face, mm -hmm. China doll. As these females, yeah. These are all the goons. Yeah. I can't wait. <clears throat> you know, but like. Like I said, I'm, I really want to capture this, um, the techniques, you know, I want to have it in the, in the manga. I kind of, I have a feeling it can be done because, um, the, as an artist that does all the Capcom fighting games, mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, there's another artist that does all the SNK fighting games. They they do it sequentially. They capture the you know the, what um, combinations. That is, that is kind of that is kind of what your work reminds me of a little bit. There's this game called Mark of the Millennium, Capcom versus SNK two. Yeah, and the uh, the in between like the drawings of the guys they they have that look that you have here of like the uh, they don't fully colorize like the faces like they normally do for those Marvel or the Capcom games, but they'll like, it'll be one tone, but it'll be a ton of tones in that one tone. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love that. <clears throat> and then um, I've seen, I'm looking for their art books. I'm, I'm, I'm on, on the prowl for their art books because I know they, they, those artists have captured the um, combinations of the character doing the moves and stuff <coughs> yeah, and those yeah. sequentials that that they got yeah that's that can be applied to what we're doing mm -hmm. so i want to master that oh 
I just can't find it. No, no one wants to part ways with their, <laughs> their trade <laughs> secrets. Yeah. Well, the 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 art books out there. I've seen it. You know, pages are from it. Okay. Yeah, they don't want to. It's out of print and stuff. So, like, I got nothing against manga. It's just not my thing. But some of those guys are just badass. Okay, check this out. This is what I was talking about, Doc. Here this, is the, this is that style that Kirby's reminds me of a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if that's a compliment, but <laughs> that's I like it. It was a compliment. I thought that was. I hope so. I hope so. Because some people don't like, like you said, some people don't like manga. But I know Dillard likes anime and stuff. You know what I mean. As num- Sailor Moon's number one fan right here. Dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I have a I have a big uh you know those uh they're not I guess they're like wall hangers. Uh huh. They're like they're like cloth but they have like a picture on them. My buddy Steve brought me he uh brought me a big old wall hanger of Sailor Moon. <laughs> I was like, I wanna put this up behind me when I do my live streams? I haven't done it yet, though. <laughs> no, his head, his head's too long. Oh well. Let's just get rid of some of this top. So I think inlets. It's got. Once I get this um, to a point where it looks nice, <clears throat> the left and the right, then I'm going to try some tiny little inlets, right? Some what? Is that what they call it? Uh, inset inlets? panels. Insets, yeah. Like that. Something like that. Maybe one right here of the transition. So boom, 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 boom. Then have these little tiny things. Cut this out, then rearrange it onto a page. Make it look flashy. Oh man, I gotta type the, I gotta write the um, sound effects in Japanese too. They don't, they don't say bang bang. Oh, what's this? How dear 6480. Hail Apex Comics, Billy Power Max, Street Goblin. How do you do? What's up? <laughs> What's up, how dear? Yeah. How are you? Welcome. I just added the Madness Network to our broadcast destinations. Oh, that's that's not. This the emperor is the next one. Damn it! I'm further away than I thought. <laughs> I was close to drawing the goons. Wait, do you guys <laughs> remember a movie with Joe Pesci and Marissa Tomei called My Cousin Vinny? Hell yes. yeah! Great movie. Okay, in that movie, there's a word that's used that I don't know what it means, and I always think of it every time I see. Hal Deer's name. Mm-hmm. And it's when he says, if you would be willing to, and it Wadir. sounds like he says, Swadir. Wadir. What? Right. What is yeah, what is that? that word? How is that spelled? So I can look it up. Uh, it starts with so w, a- w, Wadir. It's a legal term means to qualify a witness. Okay, how is this spelled? W A L D I R. Start with that. Yeah, I'm not sure of the spelling myself, John. So I don't, I don't really know. Oh. But I know. I, I, well, to the best of my belief, it starts with a W. Wa dear, or Wa dear.
if he wants to idea her on her general automotive knowledge, I'm sure he's going to be more than satisfied. <laughs> it's a great movie, man. <laughs> Oh if if Marissa Tomei didn't win an Oscar for that, she should have. Is that the girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. Came in same day. Oh, she was great. Yeah, I'm not way. finding it. Damn it. <clears throat> Like, I understood what it meant from the context. I just didn't know what he was saying ever. Yeah, there's a, a, a law dictionary. Maybe just search for law dictionary. And I'm going to put legal legal words, my cousin Vinny. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's how you search, boys. <laughs> Oh, I know. I'll go to YouTube and I'll I'll go to that scene and I'll put the subtitles on. If they get it right. What what brought this on, Diller? The name Haldir in the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> and now you gotta you gotta see it through. <laughs> I got to know. Must, that's hilarious. Must see it through. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Lou Pons. Hey, where? Hey, Lou. <laughs> what's up? Lou is a artist. Nice. She draws and paints. And Lou, if you hold on, I'll drop the link, and you are welcome to join us if you wish. Give me just a minute to get to a stopping point here. V O I R D I R E. Voir Dyer. Yeah, there it is. There it is. A preliminary examination of a witness or a juror by a judge or counsel. Voir Dyer interrogation of the board members did not bode well for their case. So, a preliminary examination. He's going to check her out. Yep. <laughs> and there were many times when I had to testify in court that I had to go through that, too. Now, here you go for the people in the chat that want to know. It's pronounced Vinny Palmex, what's up? And then Apex is greeting Low and Power Billy. Va dear. Oh, it's two words. Okay. Yeah. Look at me. I'm a legal expert. <laughs> I'm M's too smart. <laughs> my daddy said I don't need none of your book learning. <laughs> Get off my property. <laughs> Get away from them grits. Go on, get. Lou Pons in the chat says, I can't do much drawing at the moment, Blaylock. I have a chronic pain issue going on. Well, I'm sorry, Lou. I hope you feel better. Lou comes out with us on uh, the Sunday Draw stream. Very talented. She didn't say it like that. I just looked up. I was like... <laughs> you know, John got to throw some hate in there with it. Yeah. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> Be John if he didn't. She must be hurting. <laughs> Look, though, this is very, very tame. <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if it irks Lupin to see Doc Blaylock, who was a decrepit aging man, B 
be healthy enough to draw while she has to sit on the sidelines. Oh. <laughs> you see how he just, there's no love there. Where's the it love? It would really chat my ass, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Every morning, Doc just punches a hole through the stone mausoleum that he sleeps in. It's <laughs> just so mean. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> just mean. Oh, that was that. <laughs> nope. Takes the moss, sets it aside, shambles out of his tomb. Do what I gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Hell you doc. Got thank your uh thank your lucky stars every day. For Thankful that John Dillard showed up to bust my chops. Eternally thankful. I got a whole bunch of pork chops in the fridge. Oh, that sounds good. But I never cook them right. I, they always taste terrible when I cook them. How do you cook I'm, them? I don't know, with a pan. And then my wife's like on this kick right now. She's on this like walk kick. So we're not getting anything except walk food, you know? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm very sorry, well, John. I'm sorry you're going through that. It's like I, I don't want to encourage it, but at the same time, if you you went out and you bought an expensive walk, I wanted to use it as much as possible, but not at my expense. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Lupin it's says, idea. it's a partially dislocated shoulder. Yeah, it's hilarious, asshole. Catch you later. And then she left. <laughs> there we go, son. Wow, Glenn, still going. Glenn Fleming in the chat with a wrench says, Pork chops are best on the barbecue. I didn't even know that you could barbecue pork chops. He beats grill them. He's in England. Hey, Glenn. Welcome. Good to see you. Do they not barbecue in England? They they call cooking out on a grill everything is barbecue. Anything you put on a grill. Oh, well, yeah. It pretty much is, yeah. Like, unless you're one of those, like, barbecued Nazis, you, you know what they mean. I am. I am one. You're deliberately misunderstanding. To barbecue is to use smoke, slow smoke to cook it. I believe that's called smoking. No, sir. You are mistaken. I think probably in that uh, lower left corner of whatever state you're in, that's probably what they call it there, but that's not what the rest of the world calls it. We don't much care how the rest of the world does things. Glenn Fleming says, I mean outside, on the Barbie. Come here and we'll make you some. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sounds like a threat. Now, have you ever seen Glenn's work, John? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Glenn is uh, an amazing artist. Oh yeah, better than Kirby? I don't think so. He's a uh, he's doing a book right now about his father's World War II adventures. Oh, nice. Uh, now is he wearing? I'm going to be upset if his father's wearing a Power Rangers outfit in this story. No. <laughs> 
no, none of that. That's that's my shtick. All right, you leave that alone. None of that. <laughs> none of that's happening. How's the how's the, how's the page coming, John? He hasn't even worked on it. I have worked on it. Well, I'm not oh. working on the yellow flash page. I'm working on the Captain Infinity page. Yeah, that one. The I'm drawing one. the lady, but I don't want to show it because Doc's going to give me a comment. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> He's going to go all savage beast mode on me all day and then be worried I'm going to say something? Get out of here with that. <laughs> Punk. <laughs> I've been nothing but laudatory to you all day long, telling you how what you're doing right now is the best work you've ever done. And now, and he, I can't, I can't tell him anything. He just he takes everything to the butt. I don't get it. <laughs> I'll say, fine, Doc. That pal you're working on stunk. <laughs> We've said that plenty. <laughs> Why do you hate comics? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that shit. <laughs> Just cut me to my core, you fucker. I was, I was thinking uh, about that all day. <laughs> Shut up, Kirby. Stop bringing it up. The wound is fresh. It is. There's no, it hasn't had a chance to scab over yet. Stop it. Chat's going. Just, just draw your fucking gunshot, will you? Okay. <laughs> Let me get chat. Let's see. <clears throat> Billy Power Max says, Menace to society. Nosferatu about you getting out <laughs> get out of bed. Shut up. Mausoleum. Shut up. Kirby always says, you guys have been streaming since I was on lunch. <clears throat> and then, oh no, he will make us some barbecue. <laughs> yeah, Timothy Olsen, nobody lives their life by how many times you stuff your fat face, all right? <laughs> It says, uh, Billy Palmer says, you cannot compare John Candy and Chris Farley. Oh, wow. This, he's going way back. That's like saying John Candy ripped off Fatty Arbuckle. Oh. I absolutely well, can. And John Candy was far superior. Period. Timothy Owens says, in capital letters, what do you mean by that, Dillard? LOL. <clears throat> and then How Dear is waving a. Timothy Olsen? Timmy Olsen is reciprocate. <clears throat> Let me, uh, I was going to show one of uh, Glenn Fleming's pieces here he sent me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is that what's in your... He's asking you to check your DM. Is that what's in your DM? Is he submitting his work for brutally honest critiques? Sure. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck critiquing, because it's badass. Oh, what is this guy from the Crow magnon age? Where, where did that forehead come from? <laughs> That's a very, I'm very trying. outstanding drawing. It's like he's using that heavy forehead for, like, shade, so he doesn't, you know. That's his father, man. Why are you talking about his father like that? Outrageous. <laughs> Jeez. That looks great, Glenn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so what? You're better than the rest of us, so what? Wait, you want to fight about it or what? <laughs> sure you nice. LOL Dylan has diabetes. What? Get out your violin. <laughs> I can't believe Tree Goblin would go around doxing me like that after he just suffered <laughs> such a vicious attack. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Get out your violin. Now I know how Tree Goblin feels. God damn it. All right. Uh, John, share your screen. Let's see what you're working on. I got to bust your chops for a minute. Hold on. Timothy Olsen says you call it diabetes. I call it karma. <laughs> Jeez. What do you think of that guy? What do you guys Let's see. Oh, that's the uh, haughty onlooker. Uh, yeah, he's an Indian, so I put him uh, with a ponytail, and he's gonna have a uh, uh, a, a suit that has like that Western style uh, pattern to it. Right on, right on. Reminds me of that um, that one guy that comes on Jay Dollar's show. Uh, I put this Miller. here. I I put her in a uh, 
a, like a stole on her shoulders that she's oh. taking off as she's scooting. She's scooching along the side. But I had to draw through. This is why I didn't want to show because I had to draw through her to get sure. the anatomy correctly. Sure. But now I can <laughs> now I can erase her vagina and stuff. So. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> everybody knows about draw through, John. It's not a secret. Yeah, but you're like you're a pervert, Dillard. Uh, you know how you are. Uh, no, I, that's not how I am. That's, you are projecting. <laughs> Margaritas ante porcos. Margaritas on the porch or in the hall? Porcos. What is porcos? Porcos Madonna. Uh, okay. KS. What, what is that? Margaritas ante porcos. What is he saying, John? I don't know. Not a thing. Let's see. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like playing cards with my sister's kids. I swear to God. You pay cards with children. It's an antagonistic uh, thing to do. It means pearls before swine. <laughs> I did not know that margarita was a pearl. Margarita ante porcos. Okay, I get the porcos pork pig ante before. Margarita said it. No, that was pearl. I don't think it is. I think he's lying to you. It's Latin. He's got it. Oh, it's Latin. It's not Spanish. That's Latin, darling. Apparently, Johnny Ringgold is an educated man. Now I really hate him. Hey, Rosales. What's going on? Good to see you. Welcome. Oh, dear. Me. Why die? Huh? Making sure everybody's got a wrench that's in my channel, and they do. If you got links, drop them. Timothy Olson, drop those Melvin links. Glenn Fleming, drop those links. Rosales, drop, oh, I saw, link. drop your link. I saw um, Timothy on a stream. Damn it. Mm -hmm. This is getting <laughs> the algorithms recommending people. No. Timothy Olsen had a stream? Oh, he was on a stream. Yeah, he was on a stream. And they talked about Melvin. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. Also saw Ali and Rini. To a <clears throat> writing stream mm -hmm. talking about character developments and stuff like that. Now, I have never read any of Allie's work, but I am given to understand by people who have that she actually knows what she's doing. See, I hear very, I, I don't hear anybody ever saying <clears throat> she's okay. I either hear she's great or she's awful. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I, don't, I don't know if I want to be involved with such a polarizing personality. <laughs> well, I'll say that, that from people that have bought her book and read it, that it was pretty good. But I haven't read it, so I can't really give first hand. Trying to talk to the Rini, Rini girl about the <clears throat> cockfights. But yeah, she's elusive. A, she's a very talented artist. Yeah. Hard to get a hold of. She went on Aaron Lepresti's draw stream and kicked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on Dillard's side. <laughs> oh, Dillard versus Rainey? Yeah. That'd be a good matchup. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what I've been trying to do. She's so elusive. She's like... He doesn't read my my she, um, she doesn't like chat it, Kirby. Yeah, it's, it's I think I think she's uh she doesn't like Yeah, Rini considers herself uh a pro and she doesn't answer DMs from peons. <laughs> Damn it. I need to be a 
level up then. <laughs> what does it be on? Well, I mean, in fairness, a lot of people don't answer DMs from people that just randomly hit them up. Well, no, no, I've, yeah. I've been, she was on the Ali, Ali um, show. Saying, one half of the, yeah, yeah and then, yeah. Um, and I was, they were reading my chat. Did they want to read that one? Oh, well, what did you say to her? I just said, uh, really? Um, are you going to do the 1v1 artist duels? You know, that Dark Gift is uh, putting together? Okay. And uh, I think, no, no. Allie did read it, but he just, she didn't answer and he just skipped right by it. Tree Goldman says, Ali farted on Shane's stream. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, that's a very, <laughs> very classy thing to do. <laughs> you call it that reason? Okay, we read that one. <laughs> this mic, I've been trying to get catch one of my farts on stream. Oh, my God. Why part. would you want to do that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why would you even think such a thing? It's hilarious. It's, I, I think it's hilarious, you know. Oh my but God. The, the noise cancellation decides to work when I when, when I want to fucking fart. But when my kids play around me, it, it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> so you just hear them yeah, 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 yeah. fucking just yelling at each other, pulling, <laughs> pulling, climbing on me and shit. <laughs> Because I stream on like a uh, bunch of maniacs. Yeah, I stream on Twitch. I stream on Twitch and just to one or two or three people, you know, loyal friends, whatever. Oh, well, what then, are uh, we chop liver? Well, you, you're my friend. Well, we're streaming as with as him. We're bigger. not. He's not streaming to us. Yeah. Okay. And I, I try to get him over here, and uh, I got him. A couple of times over the Dillard's channel. I wasn't entertaining enough for them to stay. And they said, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're like Alpha Proto. They're very into the weep stuff. You know. Into the what? Japanese anime. Oh. Weavery. Culture, yeah. Copy that. <clears throat> very shy. Well, once you get to no, I'm just, just, just like Alpha Proto. Exactly like him. <clears throat> there it. So, I try to get him comfortable and stuff. It's, it's a task. <clears throat> Copy. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> they are, they're exactly like him because the <clears throat> Alpha Proto... The, he does things besides just watching streams. He's an artist. He's a pixel artist. He makes his own video game. He does voiceovers and stuff. One of them is exactly like him. Makes his own. Vi he's making his own video game. He does voiceovers, and um, he has uh, his setup where he does um, female voices too. Mm. It's fucking crazy. I want to <clears throat> somehow. I don't know how to show you. I want to clip it and show you. You, you guys would be impressed. <clears throat> Share this from uh, from Glenn Fleming, him uh, standing with the legend himself, Mr. Jack Kirby. So Glenn Dude, got Glenn Fleming is super old. Glenn Fleming uh, met Jack Kirby twice in his home and got to hang which out one with is which hours. Well, come on now. You don't know who Jack Kirby is? I know the name. Jack Kirby's the little old fellow. Jack Kirby is uh, the king of comics. The king. The undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Why is that? Because like, he created everything. None of us would be doing anything that we're doing if it hadn't been for John uh -huh. Kirby. <clears throat> That's not true. He didn't create any popular characters. <laughs> yeah, whatever. 
What is he Steve Ditko? No. Is he Bob Kane? No. Oh, no, he's Jack Kirby. The founder of the feast. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some coffee. What okay. he he drew Thor a couple of times. <laughs> I don't know who he is, dude. So I he, can't say. He's a he's some nobody. <laughs> some hack that uh, is getting way too much praise. <sighs> Why, why you don't like him? Did you meet him? No, I didn't meet him. No, I was, uh, early on when I was doing comics, they were like, Jack Kirby used to do four pages a day. And I'm like, oh, I've seen Jack Kirby's work. I, I could do four pages a day if I drew like that. <laughs> Now I gotta Google this guy. Jack Kirby, okay. Kirby. <clears throat> okay, I see what you're saying. It's Captain America right here. Well, yeah, he was the one that he was the main artist when you talk about when you talk about like the golden age of comics, the Silver Age and all that. Oh. <clears throat> so he gets praise for his artwork. Yeah. He's very, very good at composition and, you know, action and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> it seems uh, Western stylized, you know, I don't know how mm -hmm. to describe it. Very stylized. He draws beautiful women, from what I can recall. I'm using very, very minimal lines. Does very well. Oh, okay. I typed in women, Jack Kirby women. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh wow, these poses are like. <clears throat> 1950s type swimsuit models. Yeah. Yeah. H hand on the chin. So he's a hero of um, many. Yeah. And then you just uh, shit on him so to antagonize everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. Who, who is John pissing <laughs> off now? Who's who John uh, offending? Just, I'm learning through. In a way, um, Dillard is teaching me through That's his uh, his don't, hate. Don't <laughs> well, learn these lessons, Kirby. These are the wrong things to learn. No, he said Jack Kirby draws beautiful women. Now I went and checked very few lines, he said, and it's all true. Yeah. Kirby kind of created almost everything in the Marvel Universe, and then he went over to DC. He created uh, Darkseid and all the new gods and God knows what else over there. All those characters you never heard of, that's him. Captain America, <laughs> Thor, Iron Man, you know. <clears throat> Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. created Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> Pearls before swine. Tell me, you tell me Iron Man was an A-list hero before Robert Downey Jr.? Absolutely not. You couldn't give that guy's comic books away. All right, <clears throat> so as John pisses, pisses off the entire comic book world, anybody who's read comics knows that he's a, at best he's a B list, but he sits solidly as a C list hero. <laughs> oh God damn it! <laughs> No, it's, I mean you look. You think about like A list heroes. It's a real. It's a, it's a small dais for A list superheroes. Like not even all the members of the Justice League can be been claimed they're like A list heroes. You know. All right, John. So I'm not painting this one too. I mean, my answer is like, why wouldn't you? 
Yeah. I, copy that. I think that too. <clears throat> Doc, I think copy pangs that. of now that you're digital. I think like you should take this pain. drawing of this guy that you have here and like make him, you know, take that opacity down and just paint him. Yeah. No. Everything. No. Not I think you paint everything. We're not redoing the whole fucking book. Get out of here with that. Well, your next book, you should do it entirely digitally painted. Yeah. You're a painter, dog. You're a painter. Why All kick right. against the pricks, dog? So the the uh, the the Mesner effect says that <clears throat> the mountains will get lighter as they go away from us, but in comics, is that also true? Yes. You think you think Doc could um, after a while, once he gets used to painting on uh, <clears throat> Clip Studio, you think he can be a cute, sexy robot painter? <laughs> Uh, not, not, not possibly, painting. possibly. Not That's what I'm thinking robot. too. Not painting fucking robots. Get out of here with that. It's not what he means. <laughs> oh, there's a artist on Twitter by the handle "cute sexy robots," and amazing uh, anatomy artist. Uh, and I'm thinking <clears throat> because they're they're a painter and um, a lot of digital painters. They're um, they share a lot of similarities. I'm thinking like, since you're a traditional painter, how much of that is going to trans over, translate over, and then how fast will you pick it up? And I'm thinking very fucking fast. I think you can uh, control your um, your paints better than <clears throat> your line work with a map pen. Just not. <clears throat> I mean, you just don't want to do it. But I think I think you see it. Just paint everything. Oh, you made it. You made it dope. If you're saying anything, maybe maybe you did it on purpose. No, I was I was coughing my brains out. Forgive me. Okay, okay, yeah. But cute, sexy robot is a digital painter, and uh, let me see. I think they, her, whatever. Recently, their um, a lot of their work is muted colors. <clears throat> but it used to be, I think, more vibrant. I, um, I think in a post I read that they used um, they they were using overlay, um, <clears throat> fucking uh, what's it called layers, and mm-hmm. they, they were thinking about stopping, stop doing that. And I think that's what's going on with their muted colors. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, I got you. What do you think, Doc? Do you think you can control your paint more than you can um, your lines with pens? I mean, you know, I paint better than I draw, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. You know, I'm I don't, asking I don't... about your confidence more. But I don't... Well, I mean, I don't yeah. know about digital. That's, that'll take a few minutes to to get a handle on. Right, right. That's why I said I, I think you will get a handle on it really, really fast because a lot of it's very similar concept and stuff. Like you... <clears throat> Excuse that me. one panel, that long panel of trees and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you went, you flew through that. 
Yeah, maybe at some point I'll uh, I'll paint a book this way, but. But this is more like sketching, you know? What, putting the leaves in like you're doing? Uh, the whole thing that I'm doing right now, drawing this way, is yeah. it's more it's more like sketching than, I mean, than penciling. Yeah. <clears throat> you said I was dealing how to drop that, um paintbrush oh you already know how right yeah yeah i'll get it okay from yeah I'll, I'll definitely pick that up check it out lazy man brush <laughs> yeah i love it i love it it really helps me all right i think i got I got the pose now. Let's see. So I put the feedback. Did John fall out on us again? No, I'm still right here. I'm just working. Oh, I think that's right. Let's see. Looks back. Nothing on chat. All right. <clears throat> John, did you hear Kirby asked about uh? Carol's magic show that she went to. Did you hear? No, that? I didn't hear. Her car broke down halfway there. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. That's just horrible. Poor Carol. Poor Carol. <laughs> Couldn't even make it to a shitty magic show. That girl's hell on cars, man. I mean, just since I've known her, she's gone through three of them. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> puts, a, puts a hurting on the automobile. Yep. <laughs> she's just fucked my life. Tell her not to go. Hey, we tried go. to tell her, man. Don't go. Yeah. Don't go. It doesn't sound like it's worth it. Got my electric bill for February. Fucking high. <laughs> it's still cold over here. So we got the heaters running. Baby's got the heaters in their rooms. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hopefully it's over. Winter's over. Yeah, this is the time of year when my electric bill is the lowest. You don't need heat or air. Everything's just perfect. Yeah. Pardon 
I will say this though, man, I'm enjoying the hell out of being able to work digitally. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Because there's nothing like the joy of you know working traditional and you're you're working a page and you get to that last panel and you just fuck it up beyond all words and there's not a damn thing you can do but redraw it. <laughs> 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 just nothing sucks like that. <laughs> Do you know who uh, Belzebug is? Mm -mm. In the CG? No. -uh. He's, he, he's an artist. He's Wiggle's friend. And uh, I talked to him and he was telling me he he does he works traditionally too. <clears throat> he was telling about his son, like when when he was younger, his son was uh, would, I'm helping, Daddy. He he'd leave the room, have the page done right, and then his oh, son no. would go up there and start. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he'd come back. I'm helping, Daddy. <laughs> he's like, no, no boy. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. <laughs> yeah. So it's just you what you said just reminded me of it, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was there's... so nice. Yeah. As long as the little monkey doesn't hit hit that same button. That's it. Just... <laughs> Control Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. There's man. a limit. No, there's a limit. There's a limit. Don't tell me that. Don't back. tell me there's a limit. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that limit thing. You can only go back so far. <laughs> yeah. My baby's done it to me, but not not that drastic. Not that drastic. I, I used to let them onto this tablet. Not anymore. They broke the pen once. Ooh. I went, went to Ooh. buy the... New pen, it was eighty bucks. I was like, yep. "Yeah, you you guys are not playing on this no more." Yep, you're done. <laughs> you're done. <That's... clears throat> but yeah, I used to let them on this. They used to open the files and start coloring the the panels and stuff. <laughs> Time for a coughing fit. All right, I'm back. I don't need that right. long anyway. You have a dog. <clears throat> dog. Oh, yeah. You said. Oh, what, yeah. what kind of dog was it? She's half uh, lab and half pit bull, but she looks all lab. Oh, okay. I can see that. I've seen I've seen a couple of those. <clears throat> I got a lot. She was born with a nub tail, which is adorable. <laughs> Ew! Ah. Pardon me while I sneeze my brains out. And she's got the floppy ears, and she's a pretty, pretty, pretty girl. Pretty little girl. So she don't have the forehead? The... No bulldog look to her at all. Oh, wow. Move this brown. Speaking of pollen, it's getting me. I need to go take a Zyrtec. I'll be right back. Okay. Dylan, are what you up? there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right here. What's up? I know. I know you got a lot of animals. You, you have a dog too? 
Yeah, there's a dog here. He's a tiny little mixed mutt chihuahua dog. Oh, okay. Whose dog is that? Is that yours or? Babysitter's dog. Oh, okay. He's ugly. <laughs> and he don't listen to. He don't listen. What? No. Not even to the babysitter? Uh, yeah, I guess he listens to the babysitter. Okay. Your girls don't want a doggy? Oh, yeah, they would love a dog. <laughs> yeah. Can't always get what you want. <laughs> Is that what you said to him? Yeah. When they ask you? <laughs> the monkeys. All right. Hopefully that helps. I know you want the the hound, right? You said. Yeah. If I had to have it, I mean, I don't want a dog, but if I had to have one, uh -huh. that's what it would be. Nice, uh, either a black and tan coon hound or a blood hound. Yeah. But yeah, my girl, her name's Moxie. She is just freaking adorable. We love her. Super smart dog. My dog's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wife's dog. He said he was sneaky. As, as a female husky, my wife wanted it. Oh, yeah, huskies are idiots. Yeah. <sighs> Opposite of everything that a dog should be. That's what I love about them. They, they look like they're straight from the depths of hell. <laughs> but and they'll goofball. never protect your property from anything. <laughs> but they're goofballs, yeah. Fucking bastard dog, man. <laughs> Trust me, crazy all the time. When we first got it, it was eating its own poop. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah. I was losing my shit all the time, <clears throat> every time. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop eating Don't do that. that. You... Stop eating <laughs> that, you fucked hard. <laughs> and then... <laughs> The fucking, um, if you go online and you look it up, like I did, they're like, oh, it's it's perfect, perfectly natural. It doesn't harm the dog and shit. The fucking dog got sick from it. Yeah, don't tell Had me. Hurt him. God, yeah, stupid ass internet. <clears throat> perfectly fine and normal. Fucking end, end up on antibiotics as a puppy. I'm over here trying to make it eat, eat, eat these pills. I'm just like, fuck it. Put it down to, <clears throat> put it in the mouth and hold hold the mouth set. And we just sit looking at each other for <laughs> forever. <laughs> <laughs> that dog, when it was a puppy, it, it never left my side. I had to fucking carry that thing everywhere and clean up after it. Even now. <laughs> Pull up a maple leaf re reference here. <clears throat> they have maple trees in Maryland. 
they have to. Bless you. Oh my Thank you. <clears throat> there we go. I finished it. Check it out. I'll show it in a second, John. Let me finish pulling up this reference. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there you go. Look at you go. Thing there like this. And we'll go ten. You just wanted to show me up. Is that what you're doing? No, and then you do this, right? You go on the outside of it, and then you go down to where your drawing is. And then you go. There we go. <laughs> So, I mean, I like how you approach the trees. That's very cool. Very, very cool. What'd you do? Just block that? Yep. Nice. But uh, I'm going to go because my back's twitching. Okay. All right, brother. And my left eye is not keeping up with my right eye. <laughs> what? Well, go feel better, man. And my fingers are all flat from holding the stylus for too long. <laughs> I'm not going to go much longer myself. All right. You guys have a great day. You too, bro. You I too, wish sir. you the best. No, you don't. Quit lying. And I'll see you later. All right. All right, John. Go feel better. Bye. <laughs>
money. Dog, you got chickens too? There's free range roosters here in the valley where I live. Oh, okay. <clears throat> there was a family that lived just outside the valley years ago. They got evicted and they didn't take their chickens with them. <laughs> and they became feral. Oh, nice. Well, they're <clears throat> roosters now, so no oh, yeah. eggs. No, it's all of them. Oh, yeah? There's eggs out there? Somewhere, because they, they <clears throat> yeah. periodic, periodically you'll see the hens with a, a new brood. Oh, that's around. cool. I was telling the wife, I was like, I wanted to raise chickens when we, when we had a little bit of money left. Yeah, you told me. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I gotta spend my money on something else. <laughs> I like doing that stuff, though. I like building things. Man. When we got this house, it had the, <clears throat> this old room called a tatami room. Mm -hmm. Oh, how dear it says, cock doo doo <laughs> yeah I went looked it up asked my carpenter friend how much <clears throat> is it to rip out all of this turn this into a gym and he was like 700 you know and then I was like damn I got that so I was like what do I need he told me what I needed then uh told me what to look up and then uh <clears throat> I went and got it and I started ripping up the room. My wife was like, oh, you know what you're doing? I was like, no, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I never, I, <clears throat> as a firefighter, you know, we do demo, right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't, yeah, we never build something. <laughs> well, we, that's a lie. We, we, we do build stuff. We got a workshop and everything. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, I started in the morning and she, she just left and, uh, I don't think she thought, well, I think she thought I'd fail or something like that, you know, or fuck it up somehow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cause, uh, uh, when it was dinner time, she came back in, tell me it was dinner time. She's like, wow. <laughs> I you had didn't... this place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you didn't screw it up. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> glue's not dry. Be careful on some of this stuff. <laughs> she was impressed. Made the yeah, gym. I, made I the can't office. build anything. I can't repair anything. I mean, like when I replaced the plumbing under my kitchen sink, I, I wanted a metal. But I didn't oh, my God. You You can do plumbing? I, Holy shit. No, I wouldn't say that. I would say I successfully did that one thing. <laughs> let's don't let's don't give me airs. Uh, the, that making this these fucking rooms, right? Boosted my confidence. My fucking head got big. <laughs> I was like, I can do anything. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So <clears throat> there's a house out out back in a little tiny house out on our backyard, mm -hmm. and uh, the plumbing needed to be uh, t tinkered with. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I can do that, 
I'm gonna go to YouTube research like I did, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go over there and fix it. And then the YouTube was talking about locating the septic tank and all this, and then taking the pipe that's coming out of the um, septic tank and putting a right degree L pipe, replacing mm -hmm. that straight pipe. That's probably uh, gonna do <clears throat> cut a lot of smell sewer smell out of the fucking uh your house and stuff so i was like oh okay you know i think i i, th I think i understand you know and i popped open the floor <clears throat> stuck my head down there and i saw them pipes sweating with doo-doo you know oh my like, god oh my god yeah and i was like i stopped myself you know I was like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? You know, you can't handle this. You know, imagine the fucking mess. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> you you take, stopped yourself. Yeah. Your, yeah. What do you think you're ass. doing here, buddy? <laughs> this is Back not out. a thing you do. <laughs> Back out of this crawl space, put the fucking floorboards back, and go call somebody. <laughs> go call somebody that knows what they're doing. <laughs> just the 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 fucking pipe, just sweating, you know, like condensation. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was yeah. like, yeah, that did it. That yeah. shook me yeah. out of my illusions, delusions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'm not a handyman. I get it. <laughs> I I built uh, two rooms. <laughs> I can do anything. <laughs> okay. I'll take no. No, you cannot for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did Dylan didn't help because uh, I think I saw him make that tiny house too, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that that also boosted my confidence, you know. So I'll just <laughs> <coughs> excuse yeah. me. Well, pops, but I, I like doing that pops, stuff. Pops, you've got the admin. You own the network. Jump in. He says we need a commentator when we're drawing and focusing. Yeah. Whoops. That was a hard no. Well, he, what? What happened? Oh, no. I screwed up. Oh. I screwed up on something. <laughs> yeah. Believe in my own hype. <laughs> like that. Yeah, <laughs> never believe your own right. Yeah. The yard would have been <clears throat> fucked up for months. <laughs> I mean, when push comes to shove, I guess I've always made myself be able to do things. <clears throat> but, uh, I make no claim to being good at any of them. Well, the well, the point I was making was like you did plumbing. Plumbing is f way more difficult than carpentry. I think. I mean, it's like, anything anything that requires me to measure something or work with my hands, man, forget it. That ain't me. Howdyer says I replaced a gas gas hot water tank. At my old house, it was pretty easy. The worst part was moving the old tank.
trying to get this angle right. I'm sucking right now. Probably gonna after we end here. Mm -hmm. Close my eyes, wake up, see everything. <laughs> like, God damn it. <laughs> That's always the way it is, isn't it? Yeah. I fucked up here and there. I was like, I'll have to redo everything. That was a good job, Javier. <laughs> Replace that. Is Pops coming? I guess not. I'm not going to keep going much longer anyway. I got to go get some lunch and yeah, <clears throat> get some shit I'm done. Just, yeah, I'm just waiting for I'm just going to go as long as you go. <clears throat> Copy. Get to a little stopping point on this. Because I'm actually digging this technique. This is the damn smudge tool, and it feels more like painting than painting does. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> so that's that's what I that's what I do. Just push push that digital ink around. Mm -hmm. Get that shape. Once you nail that shape, and then mm -hmm. start just filling it in. Hey, yucky. Oh, nice, Yogi. One of my favorite commentators. Yep. Yogi's good people. Everyone stop what you're doing <clears throat> and draw, and Superman. draw Superman. Not gonna <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> what? <laughs> not gonna what brought happen. this on? Not gonna happen, Yucky. All right, everybody, I'm gonna wrap this one up. I've been going for four hours and forty minutes and I was on with somebody else before that. Where were we before, Kirby? Uh, I don't remember. <clears throat> I don't either. <laughs> oh, it was Rex's channel. I was on with Rex earlier. Oh, nice. All right, boys and girls, chat, thank you guys for hanging out. Kirby, thank you for coming as always. <laughs> oh, it's uh, a pleasure. Go, go get your eyes closed for a little while. <laughs> All right. He says he's always thinking of Superman. <laughs> All right. Peace out, everybody. Uh -huh.